Hare Krishna. So now we will we welcome all the devotees online and offline. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. for the Vyas Puja celebrations of His Holiness Radhana Swami Maharaj. And we will begin with a lecture, recorded lecture of Maharaj. ृष्णाम The lecture title is "Finding Hope in Turbulent Times." Went to your homes during these turbulent times. Actually, this is the first time I have ever done this Facebook Live, so I hope everything's all right. I was asked to speak on. finding hope in turbulent times it brings my my heart to remember words from the bible seek and ye shall find the great scriptures of india there is a sanskrit term sara grahi that true happiness meaningful purpose in life comes when we learn how to seek the essence nature teaches us in so many ways There is a butterfly and a honeybee. They go from flower to flower, seeking the essence, which is its nectar. Sometimes the flowers are in great, great abundance, blooming in the sunshine, and other times they're very far between them. but that butterfly just keeps seeking the essence does not get distracted from all other temptations or other activities that are going on they deal with them but they're seeking the essence and when they find that essence they drink it they nourish themselves with it and they're happy and then wherever that little bee or butterfly goes they pollinate the area with that nectar this idea of pollination is so important that if you receive something if you become absorbed in something then you carry that and you affect you influence whoever you're with wherever you may be 
the trees, the plants, so many of the wonderful gifts that are on this earth are depending on those little bees or butterflies or other such people to come and spread that pollen. And what the pollination does is it awakens the potential in those other fruits and flowers and vegetables. Similarly, everyone, we have our negative side and our positive side. There's always darkness and light. We need each other to go into the well where we can draw hope. And then wherever we go, we actually have the power to spread that hope. A fly, for instance, may be seeking unclean places. And therefore, wherever they go, they may be spreading disease. So this idea of looking to the light, looking to the positive, cultivating hope is so very, very important in our own lives and in the world today. And where, where do we find that nectar, that positive thought, that hope, that spiritual connection? when we seek people who inspire that hope, people who awaken within us that happiness, people who give us a positive dimension in life and help us to see how trifling and insignificant so many of our worries and stresses really are in comparison to the holistic picture of what really matters, the essence. Seeking through the books we read, through the types of entertainment we have, and through a regular spiritual practice when we put some special time aside every day to make that connection within ourselves, to taste that essence of who we really are and find joy there, then we have a gift, the most beautiful gift that we can share with others in this world, especially in these turbulent times. If a house has a strong foundation in sunny days or in the most turbulent storms, the house stands and gives everyone shelter who are within that house. But if the house does not have a strong foundation and the foundation cannot be seen with the eyes, it's supporting everything that can be seen. Then when a storm comes, a house may crumble and cannot give shelter to anyone, but rather could cause pain to others. So how it is important that internally we help each other to have a strong inner foundation. The nature of life is sometimes we do not have control over how people behave or circumstances. But we do have some control of how we respond to situations. Our intentions in our response. And also we have the choice to prepare ourselves for these sunny and stormy times 
in order to respond in a positive, healthy, and compassionate way. People need shelter. We need the shelter of food. We need the shelter of housing. We need the shelter of medicine. But internally, there's another shelter that everyone is seeking. It's the, sh the shelter of happiness. Happiness gives us shelter, even in difficult times. Ananda Mayobhyashat, that everyone is seeking the essence of pleasure. Where are we looking for our pleasure? This is really what determines the quality of our life and the legacy we leave behind. Some are seeking the shelter of pleasure in money, in fame, in power, in sex, in many limitless possibilities. And some are seeking shelter in goodness, in kindness, and in God's grace. Ultimately, love is the only principle that gives true happiness to the heart. To love and to be loved. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prema Sajya Kabunoy. This means that this love is inherent within everyone. It's our nature. It is our essence. We are the spirit, the living force whose nature is to love and to be loved whose nature is to be instrument of a higher compassion in our lives. And what greater opportunity is there to recognize this, to prioritize this, and to seek this than times of turbulence. Hope is a natural quality that sustains life. A little baby, tiny baby, when in a difficult situation, cries. That cry for the mother, cry for the mother or someone to come, is there because that little baby has hope that the mother will come to give me love, to give me food, to give me shelter. A tree in the northern provinces, in the winter time, when everything is covered with snow, there's not a single leaf or flower on many of the trees. That tree has patience and a natural inherent hope, hope for the springtime to come. And the potential of that tree to blossom with leaves, flowers, sometimes fruit, is there. There's an enthusiasm to grow and a patience for the right time. And when the sun shines brighter and warmer, then how beautiful is springtime. So many flowers, so many leaves, so many fruits are sprouting, blossoming. It's a celebration of hope. Some time back, I was in the Middle East, in the country of Bahrain giving some talks. And I was brought by some friends to an extraordinary place 
we drove into a desert where there was no life to be seen anywhere, just sand. And in this desert, it's n normally 100, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And there is a tree. It's a huge tree, full with green leaves. It's been there for over a hundred years. They call it the tree of life. Where does that tree get water from? There's no bodies of waters, there's no rivers that anyone can see for miles and miles and miles around. But somehow or other, even in those most difficult situations where there's sandstorms and heat storms, that tree just keeps growing. And in doing so, is showing us how we could grow in difficult circumstances if we have a positive attitude, if we cultivate hope, if we strive to actually be an instrument of positive change. But these things happen for a human being when we choose to seek that essence. Actually, many of the greatest literature, music, many of the greatest advances in science, technology, in sports, have come in times of great crisis because people seek something not just outside of themselves, but something inside so that they could make a difference on the outside. In politics, which I don't know so much about, but in the United States of America, perhaps the person who is the favorite, most considered the most successful president in the history of America is Abraham Lincoln. And he served his presidency when the Civil War broke out and hundreds and thousands of Americans were killing themselves in this battle when slavery, slavery and racism were, were, were plaguing large parts of our country and he was fighting against it in a bitter war. My beloved spiritual teacher, Srila Prabhupada, he wrote something that really defined in my heart what we should be striving for. He wrote, the greatness of a person should be estimated by how we tolerate provoking situations, how we respond to difficult, challenging times. And it's not easy, but whether it's in sports or academics or any other way, we grow when we're willing to thoughtfully, enthusiastically respond to stress, to pressure, sometimes even to heartbreak. To look for the opportunity. This does not mean our hearts become callous to the suffering around us. It doesn't mean we become indifferent to protecting ourselves, our own health and our loved ones. We must be very realistic. This body is a sacred gift given by nature, given by God, that can be used for a sacred purpose. So it is 
it's our responsibility to take care of the health of this body to the best we possibly can and to also extend ourselves to help others. But we do know that inevitably old age, disease, and death will come. The great people throughout history have taught us that this reality does not diminish our enthusiasm and our hope in life. There's a beautiful verse in the Bhagavad Gita that's spoken by Krishna. Matra sparashas tu kunteya sitos na sukadukada agamapayano nityas tams to dikshas vaparata. That the non permanent appearance of happiness and distress, success, failure, victory, defeat, health, disease, honor, dishonor. They are victory and defeat. They are all coming and going like the winter and summer seasons. If the compass of our purpose and goal in life is pointed in the direction of the most positive thought of discovering that inner essence of the love within ourselves and sharing that love in whatever we may do, then every situation that comes upon us, we will seek the chance to grow. In the world we live, so many of the serious problems are due to a very superficial, let us say shallow, perspective of happiness and life itself. The deeper, the more inclusive our awareness is, the more we can find joy and share it. How superficial. We judge a person by the color of their skin, by the shape of their eyes, by the size of their body, by the sex they're born in. A deeper understanding as that regardless of all these differences, we are all human. There's a sisterhood and a brotherhood of humanity. We're connected. We're from the same source. A deeper understanding than that is that we're not just a particular sex or color, we're not just humans, but we are that spirit, that conscious force, that life that's within us. When we connect to our true self, who am I, that's when the spiritual dimension of our life unfolds. And that's where the greatest meaning and purpose can be. This body's ever changing, this mind is ever changing, but the witness, the true self, is me, is you. And when we connect to that inner self, we understand our, our true harmony with God. We know, understand our true harmony with humanity. In fact, we understand our harmony with all living beings, wherever there's life. And in nature, Mother Nature, we're no longer f finding joy in exploiting pursuing the satisfaction of our egos or our selfishness. 
but we become instruments of that truth within us, God's love. We become instruments of compassion. That is the opportunity that actually we all have. That same seeking of the essence can be applied to religion. In the Vedas, the great scriptures of India, the name of the religion is Sanatan Dharma, which means the eternal nature of the soul. So Vaipung Sang Parodharamo Yatobakti Radhoksha Jaya Hoitaki Aprati Hataya Yatma Suprasidati. The Supreme Dharma is to awaken the love that is within our hearts and to value the greatest of all treasures to serve others with that love. That's what nourishes and gives joy to the heart. This idea is beyond any conception of sectarianism because at the very heart, at the very essence of all true spiritual paths is this awakening of our true nature. The first and great commandment in the Old Testament and the New Testament is to love God with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul. And what is the natural expression of that love? To love your neighbor as yourself. Everyone, everyone is our neighbor. And we can recognize that when we know ourself. There's a beautiful verse and my teacher taught that this little verse is the very purpose of all the scriptures in the world, of life itself. Sarve sukhano bhavantu that our greatest intention in life is let all beings be happy. How to have this consciousness in the ever-changing circumstances of life? To seek that essence. In In the world we're living today, it is an unprecedented time in our lives. But in world history, many such things have happened. In Mumbai, I'm part of overseeing a hospital which does a lot of charitable work. And we've seen the devastating effects of massive earthquakes and, and terrorist attacks and famine. And along with helping people heal their bodies, along with helping people to have confidence and hope for what they could be and what they could give those who they love. That spiritual connection we find is what people are really hungry for. It is a very difficult time. But from a spiritual perspective, serious crisis has been so much a part of 
all religions' histories. The Jewish people were slaves for generations. The Christians were persecuted, crucified. Islam, it began in this condition where there was so much antagonism and danger. The Baha'i faith, most of their literature, much of their literatures was written by a saint who was in prison. And then there is Buddha at the most difficult crisis of his whole life where he was depressed by seeing birth, old age, disease, and death. He left his home to seek the essence. And in the Hindu religion, the primary scripture is Bhagavad Gita was spoken at a traumatic time between two armies just prior to a major war. Why? We all want peace. We all want happiness. We all want love. Those beautiful gifts that we're seeking, we must seek by the choices we make. Through our spiritual practice, through the company of people we keep, through the ways we spend our time whenever possible, we can cultivate that inner awareness, cultivate those values, those virtues, and then we could really appreciate, we could really appreciate all those people who are out there today risking their lives to help other people. We could really appreciate the opportunities we have to be instruments to give hope and to give happiness, even in these turbulent times. There was a great saint, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, who wrote, where there is the greatest necessity, the greatest, there is the greatest opportunity to serve. There's a well-known story of a great king. And he went through fame prosperity, he went through being defeated, running for his life, and then again he gained prosperity. But there was a jewel of wisdom that he was given that was the foundation of his life. This thing shall pass. Everything changes in this world. We need that foundation. We need that inner security shelter. And in giving we receive. Like that little bee or that little butterfly. Please, let us seek the essence of who we are and what we have. And let us pollinate our loved ones and the world. Sarve Sukhano Bhavantu. And strive in whatever big or tiny way to make our life true and to make all living things. explanation of uh, what is uh, the significance of gas puja is.
we thank you for your request. You can share the password book. And then we'll start the offerings, uh, starting with this place, Guru Guru. Then he gets enlightenment and he gets the knowledge. Uh, 
and this was the everyday meeting from Sahar Dhawa and the Indian Dhawa. That uh, we are currently in this forest of mental existence, the spiritual master. By giving us the knowledge, makes us understand what age this is and how to get out of it. So, a disciple feeling gratitude for the spiritual master takes opportunity to glorify it on this occasion. Although uh, uh, it is said that Vishas is a new So, but you remember the spiritual master every day, three times. And all the devotees in the temple knows that Yasya Prasada Tamar is always like pleasing the spiritual master that one uh, can leave the Supreme Lord. So, devotees can offer their heartfelt uh, appreciation and uh, verify the spiritual master in this particular place. So, thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. We welcome you all to this wonderful auspicious occasion of uh, celebrating the Rans Pillar of the Sukhum Sanat um, We have, so after the class, we'll, uh, just a quick agenda, after the class, we'll uh, go with the, start the verbal offerings, and uh, maybe for one, one, one hour, half hour, and after that, we'll have the Pushpanjali, Aarti, and uh, you might also have a cake, I think, and then uh, we have the mark. So, I'm going to request, uh, so I have a list of devotees. I will uh, request versus this, Muti Murari Prabhu to give his offerings, and after that, I will request yes, Nanda Kumar Prabhu to be ready. I was not preparing anything, but uh, uh, in the absence of Prabhuji, he told us to speak something about glorification of a spiritual master is the ultimate thing which can bring the, all the blessings of the divine. That what uh, Shreem Prakash Prabhu also just now explained. So, whether I am having any qualification to do it or not, but he himself will have to give me the qualification. Radhan Maharaj will have to give me the qualification to glorify that. Um, most of the things what I, my interaction with uh, um, Radhan Maharaj, very, very limited. But uh, so many occasions I have explained, but a new audience, same thing I will have to repeat. I got nothing else new to say. My first interaction with uh, Radhan Maharaj was, it's happened in Calcutta when we went to Mayapur. My uh, dear friend Rangaraj Prabhu and myself, we went to Calcutta temple. When we had a darshan of Calcutta deities and uh, when we are coming out, Maharaj was coming in the center. I am coming from the right side. Uh, Prabhu was coming from the left side. Center Maharaj uh, emerged from the 
altar side. So uh, we immediately paid our obeisances to Maharaj. Maharaj uh, showed the hands like this. He spread his hand like this. He hugged both of us as if he's going to lift both of us. He hugged us and lifted. So wonderful situation. And uh, first time I'm meeting Maharaj. That time he did it. It was so much of inspiring, giving me a lot of strength in my uh, spiritual understanding means uh, my confidence in uh, to be with uh, the institution and the uh, shelter of gurus. It is giving me a lot of confidence. This was one of the first occasions when I met uh, Maharaj. Second one, there was a next one or two years after that, we went for a Radhayatra to Puri, Janath Radhayatra. That time uh, we were a lot of crowd. Uh, Janatrat is coming towards uh, uh, Kundisha Mandir. We were sitting, uh, we were all standing near the corner, one corner. And uh, suddenly Baldev's uh, Rath already uh, positioned itself near Kundisha Mandir. Then uh, last, Janath Rath is coming very fast towards that. There was a huge crowd pressing us towards uh, Kundisha Mandir. That. So all we went to a corner, there was a parapet wall. Uh, we were just pressed against the parapet wall. And I also also there. And uh, then I thought, so, okay, there is no more way we can tolerate it. I will have to get climb above that parapet wall. Like that, I thought. So I tried to climb above, right? When he was climbing above, some, uh, somebody tried to uh, give space for me. I was looking in the uh, side. That is Maharaj was sitting there in the parapet, and he is trying to give a little message for me. Some of the people they don't know who oh, little little love it, little love it, like to come up with the little like to push me a little, but I not know that you back because he is uh, sitting there. I was just going back coming up to climb like this. So this is second occasion, and uh, the way he want to accommodate even uh, in that time. Uh, so these are the things. Some of the things. Uh, happened. I was having a special attachment. I used to hear uh, Maharaj's classes, especially uh, selectively. I used to take uh, only Maharaj classes. I used to hear one time. The, this way, I used to lead my life. And uh, in such a way, once I was in Delhi, I was when I was working in Delhi. Uh, that time, the uh, same Vyasa Puja of uh, Radhan Maharaj taking place. That time, uh, in the temple, there, there was no space for uh, accommodating this. So the, some of the senior disciples of Maharaj come and requested me. By that time, I was a bachelor. Bachelor means a forced bachelor. So they told me whether you, I can conduct in your house. Then I said, okay, we can do it. So we conducted uh, Radhan Maharaj's Vyasa uh, Buja in my house once in Delhi. That time, uh, we see, I accepted, okay, we will do it. Something I will have to provide, you know, some something like uh, at least some prasadam for the, those who the devotees who are going to come. I asked them how many devotees there will be. He said, they said uh, more than 50, 60 devotees will be there. Then uh, my house can accommodate 60, 70 devotees, but I don't, I don't have any vessels for cooking. <laughs> I'll be having for one man show, one small cooker and other thing. Then what we did in the night, some of the disciples helped me. We went to a market in the night around 8, 9 o'clock. We bought big, big vessels, four or five vessels we bought. And uh, we came back. And uh, next day, uh, a traditional, uh, what is it, Visibalabad in Delhi. <laughs> Visibalabad, they don't know what is Visibalabad. They know only uh, Puri, Roti, Sabji, all those things. I, I made Visibalabad for them. Then by one by one, uh, uh, people started coming. Some Majajis already came with a dough that for making puris. From their house, they made the dough. They come to my house to only to make the puris and other thing. Each and everybody, around 10, 15 of them, they started cooking. It became a very big feast. Uh, more than 10, 15 items, puri, sabji, sweet, this thing, basically, blah, 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 like that. So many items they made, and around 60 devotees they came for the Vyasa Puja. This thing, height of it is uh, uh, Krishna and the Prabhu heard it from, uh, he was on the way back from Meerat. He heard that uh, there is uh, this thing going on. He came all the way from there to uh, glorify Maharaj. It was a wonderful uh, remembrance of uh, uh, such a. Oh, 
on occasion so i hope all these uh, things you know it give me confidence that uh, maharaj will bless all of us and uh, he will guide us uh, in a proper way and one more thing i want to mention the relation between my guru maharaj jabadav maharaj and uh, radhan maharaj it's a wonderful it is an example for each and every one of us how we will have to interact with in each other and wonderfully we are having so many radhan maharaj disciples here excellent excellent characters so much you are i am learning from all of you and i am so much uh, proud that i am having so many devotees like you around us and uh, we are very very happy and uh, there is nothing much for me to say except the glorification for uh, e maharaj will have to live long and guide us for a long long time hari krishna radha maharaj ki jai thank you prabhu thank you so much prabhu ji i would request uh, his grace nanda kumar prabhu to give us our things uh, one request to devotees is we have many devotees in the list and i in the line and i wanted to have at least all of those could give their offerings so i request devotees to restrict their offerings to at least 3 minutes um that will be helpful so that we can cover all the other devotees after nanda kumar prabhu i request venkatama prabhu to be ready with his offerings ನನ್ನ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ಪರಮ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಗುರುದೇವ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಚರಣ ಕಮಲಗಳಿಗೆ ಈ ಅಲ್ಪ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಮುಗ್ಗರದಂಡ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರಗಳು ಈ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞೆಯ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಆಂದೋಲನದಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾಗಿಯಾಗುವ ಅವಕಾಶವನ್ನಿತ್ತು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಶಿಷ್ಯವನ್ನಾಗಿ ಸ್ವೀಕರಿಸಿದ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ನನ್ನ ಅನಂತ ಅನಂತ ಪ್ರಣಾಮಗಳು ನೀವು ಸಮಯ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಿರುವ ಉಲ್ಲೇಖಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಆಯ್ದ ಕೆಲವನ್ನು ನಾನು ಇಷ್ಟಪಟ್ಟಿರುವುದನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಸ್ತುತ ಪಡಿಸ ಬಯಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞೆಯು ನಮ್ಮ ಬುದ್ಧಿಮತ್ತೆಯಿಂದ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತವಾಗುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಅದು ನಮ್ಮ ಹೃದಯದಿಂದ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತವಾಗುತ್ತದೆ ಒಂದು ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಹೃದಯವು ಯಾವುದನ್ನು ತನ್ನ ಹಿಡಿತಕ್ಕೆ ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಳ್ಳುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಆದರೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಸನ್ನಿವೇಶಕ್ಕಾದರೂ ಹೊಂದಿಕೊಳ್ಳಲು ಬಯಸುತ್ತದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಂಘರ್ಷಗಳಿಗೂ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಹಂ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞೆ ಮೂಲ ಬೀಜ ನಾವು ಎಷ್ಟರ ಮಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಬೇರೆಯವರನ್ನು ಅಗೌರವಪೂರ್ವಕವಾಗಿ ಕಾಣುತ್ತೇವೆಯೋ ಅಷ್ಟರ ಮಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ನಾವು ನಮ್ಮ ಅಹಂನನ್ನು ನಡೆಸುತ್ತೇವೆ ನಾವು ನಮ್ಮ ನಿಜಸ್ವಭಾವವನ್ನು ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡಾಗ ಬೇರೆ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ಬರಲ್ಲಿರುವ ಆತ್ಮದ ನಿಜಸ್ವರೂಪವನ್ನು ಅರಿತುಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತೇವೆ ನಾವು ವೈಷ್ಣವರಾಗಲು ಪ್ರಯತ್ನಿಸುತ್ತಿರುವುದು ಹೆಮ್ಮೆ ಪಡುವುದಕ್ಕಲ್ಲ ಆದರೆ ವಿಳಂಬರಾಗಿ ಇರಲಾರು ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ದೋಷಗಳನ್ನು ಅರಿತುಕೊಳ್ಳುವ ಅಸಾಮರ್ಥ್ಯ ಎಂದರೆ ಅದು ನಮ್ಮ ಬಗೆಯ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆ ಮತ್ತು ಅವರ ಅಮ್ಮ ಮತ್ತು ಕೃಷ್ಣನ ನಡುವೆ ಅಡ್ಡಗೋಡೆಯಾಗಿರುತ್ತದೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣನು ತನ್ನ ಭಕ್ತರ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯಿಂದ ಸಹಾರಗೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತಾನೆ ಮತ್ತು ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಭಕ್ತರ ಸಹಾರವು ಅವರ ಹೃದಯದಲ್ಲಿ ತುಂಬಿರುವ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮವಾಗಿರುತ್ತದೆ ಸಾಧನೆ ಮತ್ತು ಸಹಭಕ್ತರೊಂದಿಗಿನ ಸಂಬಂಧವು ನಮ್ಮ ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮ ಜೀವನದಲ್ಲಿ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಭಾಗವಾಗಿರುತ್ತದೆ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನನ್ನು ಪ್ರೀತಿಸುವ ಲಕ್ಷಣವೆಂದರೆ ಅವನಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸನ್ನಿವೇಶಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಂಬಿಕೆಯನ್ನು ಇಡುವುದು ವೇದಗಳ ಅಧ್ಯಯನ ನಮಗೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮವನ್ನು ಕೊಡುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಭಗವಂತನ ಕರುಣೆಯಿಂದ ಮಾತ್ರ ಅದು ಸಾಧ್ಯ ವೇದಾಧ್ಯಯನವು ನಮಗೆ ಭಗವಂತನ ಕರುಣೆ ಪಡೆಯುವ ದಾರಿಯನ್ನು ತೋರಿಸುತ್ತದೆ ನಾವು ಕಷ್ಟಕರ ಸನ್ನಿವೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದಾಗಲೂ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮತ್ತು ಗುರುಗಳಿಗೆ ನಿಷ್ಠವಾಗಿದ್ದರೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ನಾವು ಅವರ ಹೃದಯದ ಅನಂತಾನಂತ ಕರುಣೆಯನ್ನು ಪಡೆಯಬಹುದು ತಾಳ್ಮೆಯು ಶರಣಾಗತಿಯ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣನ ಆಶಯವನ್ನು ನಮ್ಮದಾಗಿರಿಸುವುದೇ ಶರಣಾಗತಿಯ ಅರ್ಥ ಕೃಷ್ಣನಿಗೆ ಶರಣಾಗುವುದರಿಂದ ನಾವು ಎಲ್ಲವನ್ನು ಕಳೆದುಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತೇವೆ ಎಂದು ತಿಳಿಯಬೇಡಿ ಬಂಧನ ಹತಾಶೆ ಮತ್ತು ಕಷ್ಟಗಳನ್ನು ಹೊರತುಪಡಿಸಿ ಬೇರೆ ಏನನ್ನೂ ನಾವು ಕಳೆದುಕೊಳ್ಳುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಗುರುದೇವ ನಿಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿರುವ ಎಲ್ಲ ಗುಣಗಳು ಹಾಗೂ ನೀವು ಉಲ್ಲೇಖಿಸಿರುವ ವಿಷಯಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲವನ್ನಾದರೂ ನಾನು ಅಳವಡಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳುವ ಶಕ್ತಿಯನ್ನು ಕೃಷ್ಣನಿಗೆ ಅನುಗ್ರಹಿಸಲೆಂದು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮೂಲಕ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಶಿಷ್ಯರಾದ ನಂದಕುಮಾರ ದಾಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ಆನಂದನಿ ರಾಧ ದೇವಿದಾಸ್ thank you prabhu ji i would request venkatama uh, prabhu to give his offerings and after that i would request uh, sri madhav chandra prabhu to be ready with his offerings hare krishna gnana timranda shagnana 
ಶಲಾಕಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರನ್ಮೃತ ಮೇನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮ ಡಿಯರ್ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಮೈ ಅಂಬೋಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿನ್ಸಿಯರ್ ಒಬೆಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಟು ಸೇರ್ ಪ್ರಪ್ಪಾದ್ ಅನ್ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೈ ಓನ್ ಪ್ಯೂರಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟು ಗ್ಲೋರಿಫೈ ಎ ಬಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ನೋ Maharaj, uh, you live for Krishna and you love to give Krishna to all others. And you not only preach us by your own words, by your words, but you also preach us by your actions. And those are exemplary in behavior. And those behave, exemplary behavior actions attracted many, many souls all over the world, including me. And journey home and journey within are the books that inspired us a lot to become more serious in the path of Krishna. bhakti and some of instructions that you mentioned in our lectures which i noted which we noted myself and my wife the only purpose of human life is purification and that purification comes when we please krishna and krishna gets pleased when we please guru maharaj and guru maharaj gets pleased when we follow his instructions and to follow the instructions we need the great determination and that determination comes you mentioned in the lectures that the first and foremost instruction is waking up early in the morning and chanting 16 rounds of hari krishna mahamantra very sincerely and maharaj is that like the only process recommended in the 14 pointer systems is to perfect our lives that is through chanting and pleasing the guru and vaishnavas and this auspicious occasion of your holiness rana samaras 71st vas puja and we beg maharaj to give us shelter at our lotus feet and bless me so that i can become serious and sincere in my krishna consciousness life i beg maharaj to give me knowledge intelligence and determination so that i give up all types of sense gratification give up all the anabhas and develop great attachment to chant the holy names of krishna and read sail prabhupad books and sarada devotees so this is from my wife uh, the last minute she had to drop uh, just one more things to add hari krishna maharaj you are the only you are the one and through your disciples who taught us what is our actual identity the servant of vaishnavas guru and kauranga it is you and your disciples who taught us how to use this mortal body to become immortal that is through serving the vaishnavas guru and gauranga and maharaj it is you who taught us what is our real identity and what are the re- uh, real problems of life those are to overcome uh, real problems of janma mrutu jara vadi by being the eternal servant of servant of servant of krishna it is you and your uh, disciples maharaj who taught us the real wealth of our life the spiritual wealth it's you and your disciples who taught us to understand what is our who is the real controller who is the real proprietor and who is the real enjoyer it is lord sri krishna even after knowing this we are not able to follow we are convinced that this is the only way to purify our life but we don't have the strength to practice so we beg forgiveness from you for the things that we are habituated to commit the offenses and not able to follow your instructions and at the same time we pray to our lord's feet to give us the strength to overcome our shortcomings and to serve the vaishnavas guru and gauranga without offenses chanting 16 rounds seriously and sincerely also when we serve maharaj like it is my habit that like i am my proud of proud of what i am doing but please give us like please make me humble by serving not the proud maharaj we are eternally indebted to you maharaj for your for and your disciples for coming into our life and god guiding us in the spiritual path you are a significant servant or servant of servant of your servants aparna and venkatamna hare krishna hare krishna thank you so much i would request uh, madhav chandra prabhu to give his offerings and after that i request uh, shivar priya prabhu to be ready with his offerings hare krishna Hare Krishna, dear Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisance at your lotus feet. Thank you for giving shelter for me and my family at your lotus feet. 
I'm very grateful to you. Good qualities, so I don't have qualification to describe all of them. So I'll try to, you know, meditate on few qualities for my own purification. So we all know your humility, your compassion to others, experience in dealing with, you know, conflicts, love for Krishna. There are so many qualities. So I would like to focus uh, in this this one quality you have, this intense love for the It is mentioned in Chaitanya Sharitamrita. Bhava Achara Nijatukka Vignadira Nakare Vichara. So the translation goes something like this. This is the natural result of intense love of Godhead. The devotee does not consider personal inconveniences or impediments. In all circumstances, he wants to serve the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So it's further in the purport, an intense lover of Krishna does not worry about personal discomfort, impediments, or scarcity. In spite of that, still he tried to serve Krishna. So in our all our Acharyas had exhibited this particular quality, their intense love for Krishna and Vrindavan and Krishna's devotees. So Prabhupada, actually this is this verse comes in the context of you know, describing the activities of Specifically, he tells this intense love of for Gopalji to Nityananda Prabhu. So, you can see that in spite of all this impediments and scarcity and personal discomfort, Madhavendra Puri came all the way from Vrindavan to uh, to get Chandan to please Gopalji. So, similarly, our Shla Prabhupada, out of intense love for Krishna, to spread the message of Krishna, took this Bhagavadam to the Western world. In spite of scarcity, impediments, and personal discomfort, he took this message and to the Western world. Following in their footsteps, Maharaj, we see how your intense love for Vrindavan we can see. So the attachment you have for Vrindavan, when you are asked to serve in Vrindavan in the 1970s, so you had so much of you know, personal discomfort, scarcity, and Impediments. So you were the pujari and the cows, and then you have to do so many activities. Every day you used to climb up the hill, right? And you used to take care of the cows, you used to cook all the boha. So you never had any time for yourself. So when you have to study, so you, do, you will not sit down and study because you never had proper sleep. You stand up and walk and read so that you will not fall asleep. So we can see this quality, the intense love for Krishna, intense love for Srimad Bhagavadam, love for cows, intense love for Vrindavan, you exhibited in your life many times. So now, same intense love for Vrindavan, you have manifested by your hard work, by inspiring devotees in Govardhan Eco Village. You know? So where you go to Vrindavan in Mutra district, People from the vicinity of Bombay, they can come and experience the same Vrindavan in Bombay. So in your love for Vrindavan, the devotees have mentioned that when you are in Vrindavan, you always wanted to come to you know, Vrindavan in India. But because you are asked to serve, so you have follow, always followed the authorities. And you don't want to forget Vrindavan. Every day, Maharaj used to go and, you know, in a place where when you carried the Vrindavan dust with you in the 1970s, everybody used to go and smell the dust so that you will never forget the smell of Vrindavan. So all these qualities, I'm just praying that this intensity you have the love for Vrindavan, I'm praying at your lotus feet that I can get one millionth part of this love you have for Krishna and Vrindavan, we can get. So the love for cows you have, we came to Seattle in uh, 2016 uh, to visit our uh, um, Goshala. So I mentioned that before even going to the Goshala, you came to the house and you wanted to use the washroom. So Maharaj, we have Gansi cows, we mentioned. Immediately you remembered, you want to know a story? I used to take care of a cow called Merika. And 
she was pregnant and you want to hear more is a dash maharaj and then when she was pregnant she was trying to give birth to the baby calf but when she was lying down her back was towards the wall and she could not the baby could not come out because the legs which is coming out was hitting the wall and there was no place for the calf to come out and then she was in labor pain she malika she could not do it she cannot get up so i sat on top of the cow and then i struggled for one two hours nobody was there i struggled and i mean pulled the calf out just bringing it out so that it doesn't hit the wall and the thing that was my first delivery and and stand your intense love for cows you mentioned that cow cow protection means it's not just not killing the cows they should be taken care comfortably and they should be happy so when you go to the in the goshala the cleanliness and then he said thank you for keeping this cows very nice and clean and thank you for keeping them comfortably so that is your love for the cows krishna's cows so i have the many qualities and you are the most love for krishna or that means your expertise in dealing with your resolve issues so some personal challenges i have worked with you so you heard patiently uh, my concerns and my challenges what i am facing after hearing patiently you have said mother said prabhu i will keep it simple and you mentioned the kind of spouse you have the kind of children you have the kind of the temple president you have the gbc you have the manager you have at work the kind of neighbors you have everything is personally arranged by krishna to make you krishna conscious the only thing which comes between krishna and you is your false ego so under this instruction today and at your lotus feet that i can fix you on this in my life so that my false ego does not come services so i can always be humble for the devotees thank you maharaj hare krishna thank you prabhu ji i request uh, shri dapri prabhu to give his offerings and after that i would request uh, karuna murthy prabhu to be ready with his offerings and again i would a humble request is to restrict the offerings to 3 minutes so that we can cover all the devotees hare krishna may I request the devotees to come a little ahead so that we can accommodate other devotees over there for mata ji as well a little ahead that's hare krishna i had to come to bangalore because uh, my mother is not well she was sick so at the same time i got, i could again get uh, the association of all of all my old friends in icc bangalore actually we got very few months of association with maharaj uh, once uh, uh, when we had uh, all of us we joined the brahmachari ashram in pune so rashan radhishi prabhu had uh, taken all of us to chaupati to uh, so so that we can get uh, some blessings from maharaj so at that time we waited in chaupati in one of the rooms so we had uh, to wait for some time to meet maharaj so we were waiting for a long time so i was just thinking that uh, what is maharaj going to have a meeting uh, swam prakash who was also there so so we were on new journeys so i was thinking what Ma- what meeting is maharaj going to have so like so there so there was a meeting room and so many chairs were kept and big table so then we waited for a long time maharaj was very busy so at last maharaj came and rashi prabhu introduced all of us to maharaj and uh, so maharaj just spoke only two words so maharaj said welcome home like that <laughs> and maharaj folded his hands and smiled so that was the end of the meeting <laughs> then we all left so of course we were very happy uh, even those, those two words which maharaj spoke and his association made a lot of impact And incidentally, this was also the same words that uh, 
Prabhupada also uh, spoke to Maharaj when Maharaj first met Prabhupada in Vandana. So Prabhupada also uh, greeted Maharaj, welcome home like that. So in another occasion, So then, uh, so then uh, Maharaj was uh, walking here and there, and uh, Maharaj, uh, so I was also happened to be there at the time. So Maharaj uh, asked me, where is the meeting uh, with uh, Devakini? And there, uh, there was a meeting with Devakini and Guru. So Maharaj asked me, so where is the meeting which, uh, with Devakini and Guru going on? So, so I was not knowing, I was in different service. So I just told Maharaj that. Maharaj, I don't know. So I was uh, then uh, I was feeling bad that uh, I had to tell I don't know. I could not serve Maharaj. So then I just told uh, Maharaj that well, I let you know. I'll just find out and let you know where is the meeting like that. So Maharaj was searching. Then I just uh, asked some senior devotees there. I was running here and there to ask. And so I got the information. But again I came to tell Maharaj that one of the meetings in that room, in the conference room there below. So by the time I came there, so Maharaj already came to know, then he already went through the meeting. So, so I was feeling bad that first time Maharaj talked to me and asked me for some service, but I could not uh, serve Maharaj. So, and uh, just before coming here, I attended Vyas Puja of Maharaj in Pune, Pune it was there. So it was a very nice pastime. So, uh, so there, uh, Vamsi Gopapu was sharing this incident which took place uh, in one of, there was a, uh, a program arranged in his house. So, Vamsi Gopal was a senior devotee there in Pune. So, so Maharaj was supposed to give a lecture. So, after the lecture, uh, Maharaj gave a nice lecture. Then, after that, Vamsi Gopal was introducing some of the devotees, Prabhuji's, uh, I mean, the uh, uh, people who came there. So, Vamsi uh, he was introducing this, this is Santosh, this is uh, Rakesh, and this is uh, so and so. He's a uh, so I mean, this is Santosh, he's my friend, and this is Srinivas, he's also my friend, and this is uh, Rakesh, he's my neighbor, like that. So, immediately, Maharaj asked Vamsi uh, Gopal, Is uh, uh, this, uh, this Srinivas uh, not your friend? Is he a neighbor? So, so Vamsi Gopal could not answer at all. <laughs> so, Vamsi Gopal was saying that uh, how Maharaj is very sensitive. He, is, uh, he doesn't like to differentiate. He wants everybody to see, uh, means everybody should be seen as one's own friend. So one should not differentiate, oh, he's my friend, he's my friend, and he's my next door neighbor, like that. So, so, so you're saying that we learned a very good lesson how we should be, uh, uh, Samadarshi, we should be equal to all. So, uh, thank you, Maharaj. I just want to pray to Lord uh, Jagannath Baldev Subhadramai that me, Maharaj, uh, live a very long life and con continue to guide and give shelter to all of us for many, many years to come. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhuji. I would request uh, Karanamurthy Prabhu to give his offerings. And um, after that, I would request uh, Sarvatma Rishikesh Prabhu to be ready with these offerings. Hare Krishna. From Jnanati Mirandasya Jnanan Jana Shalakaya Chakshurun Miritam Vena Tasmai Shri Gurave Nama. So I have some three incidences to remember. Of course, I was not there personally, but this I heard from senior devotees. So first one is... Uh, during the New Vrindavan time when Maharaj was living there in the 70s, uh, of course, uh, at the end of the 70s, there are problems. Uh, I mean, the temple was, New Vrindavan temple was almost like uh, kind of deviated uh, from proper principles. And devotees are not fully connected to ISKCON. But Maharaj was staying there uh, till the everything got settled. 
So some devotees asked Maharaj, you know that there are so many things, uh, problem was happening, and things are not proper as uh, what proper as expected. Then why did you stay? We know that you know what what is you know, wrong going there, but why did you stay there? Uh, so it was um, shared by Swami's Bhakti Vidyan Goswami Maharaj. He was mentioning. So when Maharaj was asked, why did you stay there? So Maharaj gave a reply. Because Maharaj said, yes, I was knowing that there is some problem happening, but one day it is going to collapse. But that time, there is a need for devotees. The devotees need help, somebody to help them, serve them. That time, devotees will be in confusion. So that's why I was not leaving. So that was one incident. The similar thing, which recently I heard in Pune, was Puja, one of my friend devotee was sharing. He said one one Mataji during Maras Vas Puja in the East Coast, West Coast, uh, she came and she was a, a ex Gurukuli and a Papa's grand disciple. Means her parents were devotees. So initial days they were all staying in temple, her parents full time. But suddenly when the decision was made that all the grasas have to move out and they have to depend on themselves for their uh, financial matters. So that time these children were in Gurukul and because they did not have finance properly, they could not educate children. And there a lot of difficulties the parents had gone through. So then uh, when she heard all these things, then they lost faith in uh, no, ISKCON and then they all left ISKCON. So when this devotee came to a temple that time in Maras Vaspuja, she was sharing this and she went to temple one day and asked Maharaj when Maharaj was giving Bhagavatam class. He said, Maharaj, this khan has troubled you a lot. You had faced a lot of trouble during initial days. Then why did you not leave this khan till today? Then Maharaj said, yes. Why I did not leave? Because Prabhupada said that this khan is my body. So when there is some uh, uh, injury or some blood, bleeding happens in the body, so we cannot neglect it. So we have to take care, cure. As a responsible son of Srila Prabhupada, so I wanted to remain there and whatever I can do my best service to serve Prabhupada's body, so that's why I stayed back. So that was the second incident. Similarly, the third one, uh, in 1993, when uh, Radha Gopinath Mandir was uh, planning to get connected to ISKCON, mainstream ISKCON, so that time, um, Maharaj has invited all the congregation leaders, all the brahmacharis, all the devotees, and he was asking each and every one of them, what, what is their opinion, what they feel, whether sh should we join back to ISKCON? So most of the devotees, they unanimously agreed that we should not, we should not join ISKCON, go back. Then they thought oh, Maharaj is asking all of us, but what is, what is Maharaj's feeling? We should ask Maharaj's opinion. So they asked Maharaj, what is your opinion? So Maharaj said immediately, I was thinking, what will please Prabhupada? So then they all said, okay, Maharaj, whatever you decide, we'll accept. So Maharaj said, it will be very pleasing to Srila Prabhupada that we join back to his come. So the, all these three incidences, it is, uh, we can see that Maharaj always had his life uh, governed by this principle that what are my actions, what I am doing, it is whether it is pleasing to Prabhupada or not. So similarly, uh, I beg to Maharaj that my life will be governed by this principle of uh, always pleasing the spiritual master, all my actions, whether it is pleasing or not. So I request Maharaj to bless me. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you so much. I'd request uh, Sarvatma Rishikesh Prabhu to give his offerings, and after that, I'd request Govind Sundar Prabhu to be ready with his offerings. I thank all the senior devotees for giving me this opportunity to glorify our beloved spiritual master. Please accept our respectful obeisances and to the dust of your lotus feet. Your notion of divine qualities and you're very dear to Lord Sri Krishna. 
I pray that I always remain under your shelter, and I'm very grateful for you, to you for having accepted me as your disciple. And may I always remain in your shelter. One of the vital ways to do this is to follow your instructions. Recently, I was hearing from His Grace uh, Atarila Prabhu, one of his glorifications, where he recollects some of these vital instructions. Some of which I would like to share here. We all have heard that chanting is the most important. Aspect of our whole life, devotional life. Ninety-nine percent of our advancement depends on chanting. So, you have always taught us how to chant with attention. Personally, like uh, you, you usually spend half your time here in uh, India and half abroad. Most of these instances are what I'm going to recollect are from your times which you spent here. Some of the devotees in Chapati have mentioned that uh, even though your health condition does not warrant you. to be present in the morning times and you know amidst all the devotees but you do come and you show us fix your gaze upon shri prabhupad and show us how with such seriousness and uh, the right mood uh, how to chant attentively even i personally uh, observed in various yatras when we got this opportunity to associate with you personally and uh, another thing like uh, often times you know in the day break and sometimes when you used to lock you used to be you know within your room and the door was locked so devotees used to assume okay maharaj you know probably he's uh, he's having a lot of health challenges maybe he's tired he may be taking rest let's not disturb him and for for any reason for that matter then uh, on one occasion you clarified that most of the times when i am here locked in my room i actually i'm chanting so that was quite a revelation and uh, on another occasion when somebody asked you maharaj uh, what about your personalities where are you, who are what are your personalities where are they you said you, you just showed them your bead bag your beads and you told them these are my duties and i carry them all around so you have shown us how important it is to chant through your instruction through your lectures and uh, uh, coming to the next point of how it is how shravanam plays a very crucial role that's one of the most important aspects again for a sadhaka in our devotion service and you always enunciate this in your lectures uh, personally like uh, one of the devotees was telling that on one occasion when you were uh, you know uh, looking up some books reading proper books on the eve of janmashtami so it is natural for us to assume that you know you may go through some uh, the krishna book or some uh, shrimad bhagavatam canto 10 and some of those pages but uh, it was surprising that we were actually going you know uh, reading through or some of the chapters in the bhagavad gita uh, a specific chapter which i am not able to recollect but you were contemplating deeply on the universal form the tatva and uh, also in your various travels in local commute in 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 the cars while some of us like me may think that oh i'm i'm all, i'm done with the small books and the medium books whatever proper has written now All I read is Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita, Chetan Chetan. You often carry uh, even books like Second Chance, Signs of Self-Realization, and deeply meditate on what Prabhupada has spoken to us through those books. Reading is not different from hearing, coming from that perspective. And uh, also in Chapati itself, uh, on many occasions, you come down and you sit in the lecture of of various Brahmacharis who may just have. just started giving lectures or you know some very uh, uh, such devotees as well you don't make any difference as one of the other devotees was quoting so you are showing us how we have to uh, hear with absorption and uh, finally uh, also one other thing i had heard uh, from the devotees that you never miss a chance to hear from shri prabhupada especially in all of your lunch breaks like whenever you have uh lunch prasadam you make it a point to hear shila from shila prapad so uh, <clears throat> from your personal example we are all getting that inspiration that yes we also have to you know nicely hear and lastly i would like to speak about uh, the aspect of humility which time and again umpteen number of times you have spoken in your lectures you know trunaapi suni chena so on one of the occasions in uh, uh, shila raza gobindev temple uh, opposite of the main building there is a huge pile of trash and uh, you actually instructed some of your 
um, uh, some of my senior god brothers that uh, from the temple management, from leaders of the congregation, to personally go and clear up all of that. So uh, there are many such instances I mean, where you uh, personally, by your own actions and through your instructions, uh, showed us and instructed us how to serve with humility and also with gratitude and with appreciation. Many more instructions, valuable uh, pearls of wisdom, which I'd like to recollect on this occasion, but I cut it short due to interest of time. Please bestow your mercy upon us that may we follow these instructions and imbibe an iota of these qualities of yours so that we can practice Krishna consciousness and uh, serve in a way to please you, Srila Prabhupada, and all the Vaishnavas. Uh, I'm also, we're also grateful for your kind prayers and blessings on the occasion of our engagement and marriage that took place recently. Thank you very much, Maharaj, your servant, Sarat Maharishi Kishlas, and Lord Nimai Lakshmi Priya Devi Dasi. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Prabhupada. I would request uh, Govind Sundar Prabhu to give his offerings, and after that, I would uh, request Radha Bhavani Devi Dasi to be ready with her offerings. Hare Krishna. Dear Gurudev, uh, please accept my humble prostrate obeisance into your, the dust of your lotus feet. All glories to your divine personality. All glories to Srila Prabhupada, Sri Guru and Gauranga. Dear Gurudev, before coming in touch with Srila Prabhupada, and even after your life, uh, even after that, your life has been one of great austerity and personal sacrifice. Sacrifice of your personal comfort and your health. In fact, literally, you burnt yourself to give light to all of us. Dear Guru Maharaj, your greatest gift, you have given so many gifts to us. And one of the gifts which I really adore is your beautiful Vani. You have wonderfully presented the philosophy that Srila Prabhupada gave, and along with that, you in Invested in that your deep, profound realizations from your heart that has come about by your complete surrender to Sri Prabhupada and Krishna. In your classes, humility and gratitude are your constant themes. Um, I remember on the day of my initiation 10 years back in Hyderabad, you had said, if you are humble, you are grateful. Well, I can see we easily forget all the wonderful gifts, both material and spiritual, we have received, and all the help, the guidance that and shelter we have received from the devotees. Uh, so, how important it is we to remain grateful? In, in fact, it has it is seen that an ungrateful heart is always cribbing and complaining, despite having everything. And there are so many people who do not even have the bare necessities of life. And Unfortunately, I am also no exception. This also said that what is gratitude? Gratitude doesn't just say thank you, but to give back, to reciprocate for what we have received. I really pray that I remain grateful and genuinely humble in all situations of life. So on the most auspicious occasion of your scientific auspicious celebration, I pray to a lotus feet for your mercy to pick me up out of my slumber and let me always keep striving enthusiastically towards the goal. I pray that I remain solidly attached to the dust of your lotus feet, in the fall of your instructions and live up to the standards you have set. You are invisibly the servant of your servant, going and thus. Jai. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. I uh, request Radha Bhavani Devdasi to give her offerings, and after that, I request His Grace Anirudh Seva Prabhu to give his offerings. A quick Krishna. announcement before she starts. Any other Matajis would like to give offerings, the verbal offerings? You can kindly raise your hands. <laughs> okay, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Namo Mishapadaya Krishna Krishna Putali Shimate Bhaktivana Samitina Mini 
ಮತ್ತೆ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವಿ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶದ ವಿಶೇಷತಾರಣೆ ಓಂ ಅಜ್ಞಾನತಿ ಮಿರಾಂದಸ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಜನ ಶಲಾಕೆಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರನ್ ಮಿನಿತಂ ಏನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ್ಸ್ ಗುರುದೇವ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಮೈ ಗೈಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಈಚ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಯು ರಿಮೂವ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಪೆಬಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಪಾತ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ and help me through the difficult path just as a loving father holds the tiny finger of the infant and helps her walk words are less to express my gratitude unto you guru maharaj but my actions are also not in line with what i am expected to do to in reciprocation to the causeless mercy you showered on me gurudev i admit that i have become complacent in my life and beg to you that i become as serious and sincere or even more as i was when i started my krishna conscious journey you are an embodiment of all vaishnava qualities among all qualities which you are which uh, you are you well some which i would pray to imbibe in my life to whatever extent possible are to give respect and never expect anything in return second not to brood over krishna's plans third submission to the will of krishna gurudev i am a big zero please help me in imbibing these qualities at least to a tiny fragment in my life i have a long way to go gurudev i pray unto your lotus feet to help me overcome the many deep rooted anarthas which i made of guru maharaj you have always been given the you have always given the top pri- most priority to devotee care devotee care is your life and soul you have exemplified this through various instances by caring for the simple chapati rolling belgaum mataji during the yatras to even seen a vaishnavas of the highest accord in an offering by one of the devotees he recollected when you newly implemented the system of devotee care the moment you would leave the country for other services it would gradually die down but the moment you returned to india the first question you asked was how is the devotee care system going on each time you revived it and now there there is a successful devotee care system in place gurudev you always say to love means to serve and to serve means to please please empower us as grahasthas to engage in the service of devotee care givers which our temple authorities have asked us to render gurudev we are totally unqualified for the seva but if you ha- we have your blessings on us we will be able to render the seva in a way which pleases the temple authorities devotees and you guru maharaj i pray to shrimati radharani for your good health i pray that we as a family are able to follow your instructions sincerely most important of all focus chanting of the holy names and be wonderful instruments in con- contributing to shilavopa's mission seeking your blessings and thanking you from the deep core of my heart for your unlimited costless mercy on this dull headed daughter and begging for forgiveness i humbly bow down unto your lotus feet you are my ever loving father who knows me in and out I am grateful to Krishna for keeping me under your shelter, Gurudev. Thank you very much for everything. Your most insignificant servant, Radha Bhavani Devi Dasi. I would request Anirasi uh, Prabhu to, to give his offerings. And after that, I would request Azgris Ashogar Prabhu to be ready with his offerings. Um, a quick note, after the offerings, the mic could be kept on the chair. Hare Krishna. ಬೇರೆಯವ್ರಿಗೂ ಕನ್ನಡ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಯಾರು ಕನ್ನಡ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ತುಂಬಾ ಕಮ್ಮಿನೇ ಕನ್ನಡ ಕನ್ನಡ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗದೆ ಇರೋ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಇದಾರೆ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲೇ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ಅರವಿಂದ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಅವರು ಬಹಳ ಒಂದು ನಮ್ಮ ಇಡೀ ಇಸ್ಕಾನ್ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗೆ ಬಹಳ ಒಂದು ಅವರು ಕಾಣಿಕೆ ಇದೆ ಬಹಳ ಅವರು ಶ್ರಮ ಪಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಬಾರೆನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಶುರು ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಇಸ್ಕಾನ್ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ಹೋದಾಗ ಕೆಲವಷ್ಟು ಮಂದಿ ಅಹ್ ಭಕ್ತರಿದ್ರು ತೋಟ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಭಾರೀನ್ ಇದು ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಿಡ್ಲ್ ಈಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಜನ ಜಬರ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಶಿಷ್ಯಂದ
ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಆದ್ರೂ ಆ ಕಲ್ಲಜನ ಇದು ಶಿಶುರು ಇದ್ರು ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಅವರ ಒಂದು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇತ್ತು ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಆಗಿನ ಐಮ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹದಿನೈದು ವರ್ಷದ ಹಿಂದೆ ನಾವು ಶುರು ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಆರ್ ಎಂ ಎಸ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ರಾಮನ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ನೀವು ಕೇಳಿರ್ಬೇಕಲ್ಲ ಬಹಳ ಪ್ರಚಲಿತವಾಗಿತ್ತು ಅವರ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಟೀಮ್ ಏನಿತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಯಾವ್ದು ಆಡಿಯೋ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿ ತುಂಬಾ ಇತ್ತು ಮತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಡೆ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಡೆ ಸಿಗ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಅವ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಒಲಿವು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಯ್ತು ಮತ್ತೆ ಅವರು ಒಂದು ಆ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಇತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಬಹಳ ಮನ ಮುಟ್ಟುವಂತೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಈಗಲೂ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅದು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಬಹಳ ಒಂದು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಶ್ರದ್ಧೆ ಅದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅವ್ರೊಬ್ಬರದೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರ ಶಿಷ್ಯಂದ್ರಿ ಯಾರಿದ್ರು ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಎಲ್ಲಾರು ಏನು ಐ ಐ ಟಿ ಐ ಐ ಎಂ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾರ್ಡನರಿ ಗ್ರಾಜ್ಯುಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ಈಗ ನೀವು ನೋಡಿದ್ರೂ ಆ ಬಹಳ ಮೇಧಾವಿಗಳು ಅವರ ಶಿಷ್ಯಂದ್ರಾಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅವ್ರುಗಳು ಮೇಲೆ ಅವರು ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕೇಳಿ ಇನ್ನೂ ಪ್ರಭಾವ ಆಯ್ತು ಸೊ ನಮ್ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಅಥವಾ ನಮ್ಮ ನಮ್ಮ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ನಮ್ಮ ಇಡೀ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಷನ್ ಬಾರ ಮೇಲೆ ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಜಗದ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಅಥವಾ ಅವ್ರ ಶಿಷ್ಯಂದ್ರು ತುಂಬಾ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಅಥವಾ ಬೇರೆಯವರು ತುಂಬಾ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಆದ್ರೆ ರಾಜನ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಅವರ ಶಿಷ್ಯಂದ್ರು ಅವರ ಒಂದು ಏನು ಒಂದು ಕಾಣಿಕೆ ಇತ್ತು ಬಹಳ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಅಪಾರವಾಗಿ ಪ್ರಭಾವ ಬೀಳ್ತು ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಸುಮಾರ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ಅವ್ರದ್ದೇ ಚರ್ಚೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಆಗ ಹಾಗೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಆ ನಿಜವಾದ ದೃಢ ಭಕ್ತಿನ ಮೂಡಿಸಿದ್ರು ಅವರು ಇದಾಗದೆ ಆ ಅದೇ ಟೈಮ್ಗೆ ಜರ್ನಿ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಆ ಬುಕ್ ಬೇರೆ ಬಂತು ಆ ಬುಕ್ ಬಂದಾಗಂತೂ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ರೋಮಾಂಚನ ಆಗೋಯ್ತು ಅಷ್ಟು ಬಹಳ ಸುಂದರವಾಗಿ ನಿರೂಪಣೆ ಕೊಂಡು ಮತ್ತೆ ಅವ್ರ ಏನ ಜೀವನ ಹೇಗೆ ಅವರು ಜೀವನ ನಡೆಸಿದ್ರು ಹೇಗೆ ಅವರು ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲೋ ಅವರು ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಹುಡುಕೊಂಡು ಇಂಡಿಯಾಗ್ ಬಂದಿದ್ದು ಆ ಬಂದಿದ್ದು ಆ ಒಂದು ಅವರು ಪ್ರಸಂಗಗಳು ಕೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಬಹಳ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಅದನ್ನ ನಂಬಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಸಂಗ ಒಂದು ಕೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಸು ಇಲ್ಲ ದುಡ್ಡಿಲ್ಲ ಮತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಡೆನೂ ಹೆಚ್ ಹೈಕ್ ಅಂತಾರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ದಾರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಗಾಡಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಕೈ ತೋರ್ಸೋದು ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಒಂದ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ದೂರ ಆ ಯುರೋಪ್ ಇಂದ ವೀಕೆಂಡ್ ಟು ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ ಇರಾನ್ ಇರಾನ್ ಇಂದ ಅಫ್ಘಾನಿಸ್ತಾನ್ ಅಫ್ಘಾನಿಸ್ತಾನ್ ಇಂದ ಪಾಕಿಸ್ತಾನ್ ಹಾಗೆ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಬಂದ್ರು ಸೊ ಆತರ ಏನು ಒಂದು ಆ ಒಂದು ದುಡ್ಡಿನ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಅಥವಾ ಏನು ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ದಾರಿ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಏನು ಇಲ್ದೇನು ಅವರು ಅವರು ಆ ಸಾಹಸ ಮಾಡಿ ಬಂದ್ರು ಇಕರ ಹಿಮಾಲಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರು ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕು ಧ್ಯಾನ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಮತ್ತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಮಾರ್ಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಬಲವಾದ ಒಂದು ಒಂದು ಆಸೆ ಇತ್ತು ಸೊ ಹಾಗೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಆಸ್ಟ್ರೇಲಿ ಎಂತೆಂತ ಸನ್ನಿವೇಶನಗಳಾಯ್ತು ಅವ್ರ ಜೀವನ ಜೀವನಕ್ಕೆ ಅಪಾಯ ಬರುವಂತ ಸನ್ನಿವೇಶ ಆಯ್ತು ಆದ್ರೂ ಇದೆಲ್ಲದ್ರಿಂದ ತೋರಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಅವ್ರ ಕೊನೆಗ್ ಬಂದು ಮಥುರಾಗ್ ಬಂದ್ರು ಮಥುರಾಗ್ ಬಂದು ಹೂರಾನಕ್ ಬಂದ್ರು ಸೊ ಆ ಒಂದು ಸನ್ನಿವೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ತೋರಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಹೇಗೆ ಭಗವಂತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಕಾಪಾಡಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಂತ ಆ ನಾವು ಎಲ್ಲಾ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಟಿಕೆಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಕನ್ಫರ್ಮ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ತರ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಸೌಲಭ್ಯಗಳು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಆದ್ರೂ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಅದಿಲ್ಲ ಇದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಅಷ್ಟು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಕಷ್ಟಗಳು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಯಾತ್ರೆಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರ ಮಾತ್ರ ಎಲ್ಲೋ ಹಂಗೆ ಸುಸೂತ್ರವಾಗ ಆಯ್ತು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಪ್ರೌಪಾದ ಅವ್ರ ದರ್ಶನಾನ ಆಯ್ತು ಪ್ರೌಪಾದ ಅವ್ರು ಗುರುತಿಸೋದು ಹೇಗೆ ಆ ಆ ಮುಂಬೈನಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದಿದಾಗ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದು ಒಂದು ದೊಡ್ಡ ಹ
ಅವೆಲ್ಲ ಈ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಕತೆ ಪುಸ್ತಕಗಳು ಕಸ್ತೂರಿ ಈ ತಗೋ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಬರೀ ಸಾಮಾಜಿಕ ಇದು ಅವಾಗೆಲ್ಲ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅವಾಗ ಬರೀ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ದಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಾಗೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ಈ ಬುಕ್ ನಾವು ನಾನು ಓದ್ದೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನನ್ನ ಮನೆಯವರೆಲ್ಲ ಓದಿದ್ರು ಆಮೇಲೆ ನನ್ನ ತಂದೆಗೂ ಕೊಟ್ಟೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾಗ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಓದಿದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಅನ್ನೋ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ನಿಜವಾಗ್ಲೂ ನಮ್ಮ ಇಸ್ಕಾನ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿಗಳು ಇವ್ರ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಇಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಕಷ್ಟಪಟ್ಟು ಇಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಬಂದಿದಾರ ನಾವೇ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಿಲ್ಲಲ್ಲೋ ಅಂತ ನನ್ಗೆ ಹಂಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಅವರು ಆ ಆದ್ರೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಭಾವ ಆಯ್ತು ಅದಾದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಗುರು ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಅವರು ಒಂದು ಸಂದರ್ಶನ ಆಯ್ತು ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಬಹಳ ಅವರು ಇಸ್ಕಾನ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಶ್ರದ್ಧೆ ಬಂತು ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಅವರ ಅಹ್ ಒಂದು ಅಹ್ ಇಡೀ ನನ್ನ ಪ್ರೌಪಾದ್ ಅವರ ಮತ್ತೆ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಅವರ ಈ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತ ಮೂವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಗೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರುವಂತ ಒಂದು ಕಾಣಿಕೆ ಬಹಳ ಅಪಾರವಾದದ್ದು ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಬಹಳ ಭಾಗ್ಯವಂತರು ಅವರ ಒಂದು ಅಹ್ ಆಶ್ರಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ಟೈಮ್ ಇದೆಯಾ ಪ್ರಭು ಅನ್ನೋದ ಟೂ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಹ್ ಸೊ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ನಾನು ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಸಲ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ನೇರವಾಗಿ ಸಂದರ್ಶನ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅವ್ರ ಹತ್ರ ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದ ತಗೋಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಇದುವರೆಗೂ ನಾನು ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಒಂದ್ಸಲ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಅವರು ಬರ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತು ಅವಾಗ ನಮ್ಮ ಬಹರೈನ್ ಪ್ರೈಮ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಅವರೆಲ್ಲ ಕರೆಸಿದ್ರು ಒಂದು ಇಂಟರ್ ಫೇತ್ ಒಂದು ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ನಡೀತು ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇಂದ ಸುಮಾರು ಜನ ಬಂದಿದ್ರು ಬಂದಿದ್ದಾಗ ಅವರು ರಾಘನ್ ಸಿಂಹ ರಾಜನು ಬಂದ್ರು ಎರಡು ದಿನಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂತ ಇದ್ರು ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಬೇರೆ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಬರೀ ಅದೊಂದು ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಬಂದಿದ್ರು ಅಂತ ಆ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಗೇನೋ ಆಫೀಸ್ ಕೆಲಸ ನಾವು ಏನೋ ತುರ್ತು ಒಂದು ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಬಂದು ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಬಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಾನು ಬೆಂಗಳೂರ್ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದೀನಿ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಯ್ತು ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಮಿಸ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಅವಾಗ ಅನ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದು ಏನಪ್ಪ ಇಷ್ಟು ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಇನ್ನೊಂದ್ ಸಲ ಮಾಯಾಪ್ರ ಹೋಗಾಯ್ತು ಎಲ್ಲಾರು ಇನ್ನೊಂದ್ ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕು ಬುಕ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ರಾಜನ ಸಿಂಹ ರಾಜ್ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಎಲ್ಲ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತು ಆಗ್ಲು ಹಂಗೆ ನಂಗೆ ಹೋಗಕ್ಕಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಇದುವರೆಗೂ ನಂದು ಒಂದು ನಿಜವಾದ ಒಂದು ಕೊನೆಯ ಅಥವಾ ನನ್ನ ಆಸೆ ಮನಸ್ಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ ರಾಜಸ್ವ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ನೇರವಾಗಿ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಸಂದರ್ಶನ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅವರ ಒಂದು ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದ ತಗೋಬೇಕು ಅಂತಿದೆ ಅದು ಯಾವ್ದು ಬರುತ್ತೋ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ನೀವೇ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಕರುಣಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಹರೇ ಹರಿದೇವ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಬ್ರೋಜಿ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಶೋಕ್ ಗೌರ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ನೀನ ಪ್ರಭು ಟು ಬಿ ರೆಡಿ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ um again a humble request since we are sh- falling short of time and there are few more devotees who want to give their offerings um i would request devotees to kindly restrict this to 3 minutes or 2 to 3 minutes hare krishna ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ನಮಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಷ್ಠಾಯ ಭೂತಲೇ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ರಾಧನಾಥ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಿತಿ ನಾಮಿನಿ ಸೊ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೋ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಓನ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೋ ಇಮೋಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಓನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಾರೋಡ್ ರಾಧರ್ ಯು ನೋ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರಿಪೀಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಸ್ ರಿಟನ್ ಬೈ ಅಮರೇಂದ್ರ ಪ್ರಭು ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೆಜರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಧನಾಥ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಯಾ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಪ್ಲೆಜರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ವೈಷ್ಣವಾಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಶ್ಯೂರ್ most of you may have heard this in the internet in case if not then you know you can hear this katham praapsyam aham devam iti
and devotional service in Sri Vrindavan Dham. Since then, he has been mercifully and profusely bestowing the world with these highest devotional principles. Panditya Janmaso, Panditya Janmaso, Kalabhi Purva Sanchitai, Neva Gaura Kripa Prapta, Labdha Tu Bhakti Sadhanai, Iti Adbhutam Mahatatyam, Boditam Darshitam Chayai, Gurum Stam Sarvata Vande, Shri Radhanath Swaminaha. I wholeheartedly surrender to Shri Radhanath Swami Maharaj, who has explained through words and by personally demonstrating through actions an important astonishing principle. The mercy of Shri Gaura is attained not by mere erudite scholarship, aristocratic Brahminical birth, exquisite, be exquisite be uh, bodily beauty, or any other materially achieved skills and talents due to the past pious credits. This mercy is attained only by the sincere practice of devotional service. Kirtaneshu harim smritva nrityanti prema vifala gayanti bhakti bhavena majjantevam sudam bhudau lokan nacharanair nityam swadharmam shikshayanti ye gurum stam sarvata vande Shri Radhanatha Swaminaha. I wholeheartedly surrender to Shri Radhanath Swami Maharaj, who deeply absorbed in the thoughts of Shri Hari, dances ecstatically in the loud congregational performances of the holy name of the Lord. He sings with loving devotion while drowning himself and others in the ocean of ambrosia. In this way, through personal practice and demonstration, he always teaches everyone their eternal spiritual duty of chanting and dancing with unalloyed devotion. Navavrindavanadravye bhaktye kakibhirarchitav snapitalam kritavishtav nisvarti bhi susevitav tairetav jiva chitteshu drishyate bhikshanam adbhutav Gurum Stam Sarvata Vande Shri Radhanath Swami Naha. I wholeheartedly surrender to Shri Radhanath Swami Maharaj, who all alone in the mountains of New Vrindavan devotionally and selflessly offered excellent worship, bath, ornamentation, and services to his beloved deities, Shri Shri Radha Vrindavan Nath. He continues to see these two beautiful lords constantly in the hearts of all the living entities. Paranamanti Guru Bhratran Stunvanti Vaishnavan Sada Gunan Pashyanti Sarvatra Bhakta Bhakta Janeshuye Manashunya Taya Jeevan Akarshanti Kriparnava Gurun Stam Sarvata Vande Shri Radha Nathaswami I wholeheartedly surrender to Sri Radhanath Swami Maharaj, who offers prostrated obeisances to his beloved God brothers and God sisters and extensively glorifies the Vaishnavas as an ocean of compassion and humility. He sees good qualities in devotees and non devotees, everyone irrespective of their spiritual inclination, and thus attracts the hearts of all the living entities. Mandire Vitta Koshecha Samsadi Dham Kandare Vishwakarya Laye Vidya Laye Samelane Pratha Bhakti Hinajane Bhyoye Bhananti Mahimam Hare Gurum Stam Sarvata Vande Shri Radhanath Swami Naha. I wholeheartedly surrender to Shri Radhanath Swami Maharaj, who for the sake of uplifting the souls devoid of devotional sentiments, proclaims and preaches the unparalleled glories of Shri Hari at various temples, international banks, national parliaments, spiritual abodes, caves, 
multinational corporations, worldwide educational institutions, and at conferences, medical business, interfaith conferences. Yatharthan prativarsham ye bhaktan nita nitvalayam hare darshayanti stute darshayanti sutir thanya thanya acharya vag bhish chakirtanai payam tyachutananta namali lara samritam Gurum Stam Sarvata Vande Shri Radhanath Swaminaha. I wholeheartedly surrender to Shri Radhanath Swami Maharaj, who leads annual parikramas to the various holy abodes of Lord Hari. As an Acharya, he reveals through his lectures and kirtanas the dham to the devotees as he lovingly makes them drink the nectar of the Lord's unlimited names, forms, qualities, and pastimes. Mannata Matpitar Bandho Madguro Bhakti Poshaka Maddeva Mat Sake Natha Prabhu Pada Priyatmaja Shri Gaura Priya Bhakta Shri Radha Priti Sudhakara Bhavatam Pada Renusyam Janmani Janmani Sada O my father, O my mother, O my friend, O my spiritual preceptor. O nourisher of my devotion to the Lord, O my worshipable Lord, O my best well-wisher, O my master, O dear son of Srila Prabhupada, O dear devotee of Sri Gaura, O reservoir full of affection for Sri Radha, may I eternally become the dust at your lotus feet, life after life. Hare Krishna. All glories to His Holiness Radhanath Maharaj Ki Jai. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you, Prabhupada. Request Navina Prabhu to give his offerings, and after that, I request Premi Madhura Mataji to be ready with her offerings. O Madna Timirandasya, Dhananjana Shalaka, Chakshurami, Pisme Sri Guru Venama. Dear Gurudev, kindly accept my humble obeisances. Although I am not qualified for qualified for my purification duties, gave me chance to glorify Gurudev. Your lectures are only amazing lectures are only hope me to connect within the Krishna consciousness. Gurudev, your care for not only devotees but also each soul in this world is inspiring many. Recently, Vaspuja offering, one of the devotees was sharing how you traveled a long distance, one of the remote country of uh, for one of your friend who was in the last stage of his life. And you chanted, prayed hours and hours for him. Also, I heard from many, many times, you come to know any devotees in difficulty. In spite of your busy schedule, you visit or you call the devotee and make him confident, give, give him a confidence on, on them. Such a caring nature pastime, whenever I hear, tear comes in my eyes. My first interaction with you was in Hampi Yatra, and I could not forget that moment when devotees are taking breakfast prasadam in the morning. You are personally inquiring about them, seeing you, seeing you without a personal assistant. I was foolishly thought, let me clear the path for you to go further. But at the same time, I observed you are trying to say something to me, but I could not, could not dare to see your lotus eyes. My heart heartbeat was beating fast, and I was not sure whether I was trying to serve, serve you or disserve you. Kindly forgive my all offenses and shortcomings, Guru Maharaj. I heard uh, recently from His Grace Sachishwata Prabhuji from Belgam how merciful you are to fulfill desires to serve. When you are traveling long, long ago from Belgam to Kolapur by car, and in between car going for maintenance, you are walking alone on the highway. Sachisuta Prabhuji saw you walking alone, stopped his Yama bike and again requested him you to you know uh, uh, travel with you in the bike. So you kindly agreed his service uh, by travel by bike such a long distance. You appreciated his safe driving, uh, safe riding service also. Uh, many of the devotees who served you personally when they share the joy of serving you are always very inspiring me. Uh, Recently, when I heard one of senior devotees, Brahmachari, who was personally a personal assistant of you for many years, and uh, 
but it was it was since when it was many years but uh, when uh, he still the dreams coming you know uh, to him that devotee uh, that motive was very much to me on this auspi uh, auspicious we ask for your celebration i pray to you gurudev kindly give me give me strength to follow your personal instructions as my life and soul you are aspiring disciple thank you, thank you prabhu ji request by my mother mataji to give her offerings and after that i request vanamali goin prabhu to be ready with his offerings ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆಂಟ್ ರೋಲ್ in sharing the teachings of vedic literature all over the world he loves for krishna and loves to give krishna to others he follows the teachings of shri la prabhupada his spiritual master as it is and never compromises with any principles and shri la prabhupada he has deep deep and like shri la prabhupada <coughs> and like shri la prabhupada he has deep compassion for all the living beings it is because of his selfless love and genuine desire that he has been able to transform the lives of thousands of people all over the world we can learn so many lessons from maharaj lives he has the quality of uttam adhikari maharaj never sees bad in others and never criticizes others in nectar of instruction shri larupa goswami explains that a pure devotee of krishna is always engaged in undeviated devotional service and his heart is completely devoid of prof- prop- propensity to criticize others this quality we see in maharaj maharaj never sees bad in others he always sees good in others and maharaj extends himself to a great extent to give krishna to others maharaj preaches by his words and also by his actions what attracts people is not philosophy but the conduct of a of a person on the auspicious occasion of maharaj 71st vyas puja i pray at his lotus feet to shower his mercy upon me and my family your servant hari dev krishna das and prema madhurya devi das thank you mataji um i would request panamali goen prabhu to give his offerings and after that i would request sir shrinivas kornikali prabhu to be ready with his offerings hari krishna so i am very grateful to get this opportunity for uh, speaking some few words in the glorification of uh, his holiness radhanath swami maharaj uh, please accept my humble obeisances dear gurudev so uh, while preparing also i was feeling the insignificance that uh, i'm not really qualified uh, to speak in uh, glorification however uh, who in the recent times uh, i have been uh, observing one of the things in me that uh, while dealing with the devotees how much sensitivity is very uh, vital role and uh, always have been uh, seen and heard in your uh, dealings and in your lectures the verse trinada pi sunichena tarora pi sahishuna amanina manadina kirtaniya sadahari so uh, yes have been hearing this verse and trying to be apply but uh, as the time progresses we am able to realize maharaj that how uh, vital it is in not only uh, maintaining good relationships with the devotees but also to Uh, avoid any type of offenses so recollecting one incidents in calcutta where uh, uh, his grace radhesham prabhu had asked a question to uh, you that um, 
how can we uh, help a, a, a devotee whom we can see very much that he is going in a wrong direction and he is about to uh, degrade in his devotional service and how we can give him correction or how we can help him should we do that or should we not do that or how exactly we should do that so um, because Maharaj was uh, uh, you were uh, enlightening that uh, we should be very sensitive in our dealings and in helping also in instructing unless the person is very ready to hear that so when uh, Rai Shampu asked that is he is 100% going wrong and we are seeing that he is uh, traveling on the branch of a tree which is going down and he is going to fall. And in this such a situation, how can we can tell? Should we tell him that no, you should stop, you are going to fall down and uh, uh, things like that. Uh, he may take it nicely, he may not take. Sometimes we see that even though the devotee is going wrong, but he may not listen to the instructions. So, uh, uh, Guru Maharaj, you told that um, whatever is required for the upliftment of a devotee, in case you are very sure that he is not going to receive those instructions, then probably you should not tell. And then again, Rajeshambru asked that uh, he is going to literally fall and we know that he is objectively going wrong. Still, we should not instruct that you are going wrong. Then yes, uh, after a second time asking like this, you again insisted. Maybe we can put a net below so that we know when he's going to fall down, we are catching and then he'll realize that, uh, oh, I was really going wrong. So uh, this uh, uh, attracted the sensitive nature which you have. And uh, that is what is really required in the uh, dealings with devotees, especially when we are uh, in uh, preaching, we tend to give some instructions which may not be taken. So how sensitive one has to be, I could realize in this conversation between you and uh, Prabhuji, that uh, not only you have spoken, but you have been practicing and uh, very exemplary in this. And that uh, time and again, I have seen the importance whenever we uh, either we give service or we are not sensitive in giving that or in instructing, it, it has not given the results. So uh, I would like to learn this one character of uh, sensitivity and uh, 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 very, very uh, submissiveness in our uh, dealings and helping not only with our juniors, but even with our equals. and. Uh, no doubt, uh, along with our seniors. So, uh, just uh, wanted to uh, bring out that point uh, on this uh, occasion that I will, uh, in my services, which is youth preaching, in NITK especially, and in my general dealings, I would like to imbibe this. I'm learning it very nicely from His Grace Swarna Gorari Prabhu, His Grace Swayam Prakash Prabhu, and um, other seniors now, Karuna Murthy Prabhu also, and many other senior devotees in our temple. So I continue like to progress in that uh, learning further and imbibe that in my uh, attitude. So I pray to your lotus feet Gurudev that I can uh, do some justice in my service with this quality of submissiveness and sensitivity. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhuji. I request uh, Shrinivas Karuni Pali Prabhu to give his offerings and after that I would request Abhishek Prabhu to be ready with his offerings. Hare Krishna, dear Guru Maharaj, please accept my respectful, humble obeisance and your lotus feet. On this occasion, a special occasion, I would like to share one interaction I had with Maharaj. In my early days of uh, Krishna consciousness in 2014, when I went for a Sadhu Sangha retreat in uh, North Carolina, USA with other devotees, I had a desire of uh, getting a hug from Maharaj. So when I spoke to my devotee friends, they laughed at me, you are uh, planning to get Maharaj a uh, uh, hug. Uh, so I just attended for three days program. On my second day of the program, <clears throat> after uh, Maharaj class and uh, Kirtan, he started walking out of the auditorium, no one was following him. So what I did was uh, I just followed Maharaj uh, <clears throat> to speak to him. I didn't know what to speak and how to speak with him. But uh, I just followed him uh, almost like uh, 500 feet. Then Mara started talking with another sannyasi on the way. So I was just waiting and uh, walking around uh, to wait for uh, opportunity. 
So then Maharaj and that Sanyasi started walking to cottage. I approached Maharaj, Maharaj, can I drop you to your cottage? He said, yes. So I ran to the parking lot and got my car. By the time I came out, Maharaj and the Sanyasi were not there. <clears throat> so I thought someone, some other devotee must have got the opportunity. And then I was looking around, Maharaj and the Sanyasi were walking already 100 feet away. So I drove my car. Uh, immediately Maharaj looked at me and he stopped. Uh, I opened the door and uh, Maharaj got in and Sanyasi sat back. And uh, another two, three minutes, his cottage came. So Maharaj got down and I, uh, he said he wanted to speak with Sanyasi personally. So I was waiting for Maharaj, uh, near Maharaj's door uh, to open, uh, for them to speak privately. Then Maharaj, uh, <clears throat> after speaking, he got down, I paid my obeisances and uh, he gave a big hug to me. Then uh, Maharaj started walking to cottage. I didn't know what to pronounce like Maharaj Prabhu and all. I was new to the uh, Krishna consciousness. I said, uh, Maharaj, um, this was my desire before coming to this Sadhu Sangha. You fulfilled my desire. Thank you. Then immediately Maharaj walked back to me. So I was shivering like why Maharaj is coming back, whether he's going to scold me or what. So immediately he came and he gave a three minutes uh, hug, long hug. And I never, uh, you know, <laughs> forget that, you know, whenever I feel uh, this thing, you know, I see that Maharaj compassionate, uh, how much compassionate in uplifting uh, souls like uh, fallen souls like me. Thank you, Maharaj. I pray for uh, your mercy uh, uh, for getting, uh, giving me uh, initiation. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. We'll all wait for a hug from you, Prabhuji. I request Abhishek Prabhu to give his offerings, and after that, request Sankarshan Nitai Prabhu to be ready with his offerings. Hare Krishna. Uh, my humble obeisance is Jayad Maharaj. On this wonderful occasion of Yas Puja of celebrations of His Holiness Dada Swami Maharaj, I would like to remind myself of the teachings of Maharaj uh, from the Kartik Yathas that I have attended, uh, uh, summarizing them in three T's. The first T is thirst, second T is uh, uh, the uh, taking shelter, the third is turbulence. The first T, thirst, Maharaj was explaining what it means, uh, uh, th what really means thirst. Uh, th so Krishna, uh, Krishna actually just demonstrates uh, through his pure devotees, what is the downside of thirst? So, Pandavas were thirsty and they went to the, the lake of Yakshas and they, the four Pandavas actually became lifeless. Uh, Parikshit Maharaj was thirsty and he had to, uh, he was overcome by it and he put around the snake around Samikrishi and uh, the consequences. The Gopas were thirsty and they were dragged towards the uh, yeah, waters which was poisoned by Kaliya. Right? So, similarly in this whole material world, people are, uh, all the conditioned souls are thirsty for various things and the, uh, the sense gratification or the, the thirst that we try to quench through sense gratification is just like a drop of water in the ocean, in the, in the uh, big uh, desert. Right? So Maharaj is so compassionate in bringing the real nectar to every conditioned soul in the form of the love of Krishna, which is the one which quenches the thirst, thirst completely. So that is T. The second T is about uh, uh, taking shelter. Maharaj explains uh, how, what it really means to take shelter. It's like, uh, it's, uh, he, he explains how the Kadamba tree was standing there near the banks of Yamuna, waiting all along just to, just to serve Krishna so that so Krishna can climb on it and then jump onto uh, the Kaliya and perform the pastime. So taking shelter means actually giving out service. That's what Maharaj um, explained. Uh, the meaning of being uh, uh, truly taking shelter is seeking out how I can help, how I can serve and how I can please Krishna. And the third T 
is the turbulence. So I had one uh, uh, experience when I went to Govardhan Eco Village. That year there was no Kartik Yatra and we were fortunate enough to go to Govardhan Eco Village and uh, have a small satsang, a small, smaller uh, this thing. And um, that night, uh, that morning to evening, you know, how Maharaj gives classes and so busy Govardhan Puja and so many other things, we were uh, actually uh, tired in between taking rest and coming back and seeing the various places. It was so late in the night, something like 10 or 10 p.m. or so, Maharaj was still uh, with his uh, God brothers and God sisters, uh, taking care of them, showing them. And we happened to uh, have a, a lovely glance of him when he passed uh, around us. So uh, I'd like to tell you that when I went from Bangalore to Mumbai via flight, it was a very turbulent flight. I was so, so, so frightened. And I couldn't even chant my rounds on the uh, flight. <laughs> it's, the fear was overcoming. But the written flight, when I came back from Mumbai to Bangalore, after the whole Kyatra and Maharaj's lovely glance, I felt that the flight, even though it was so turbulent, it was like a ship sailing through peacefully and captained by uh, His Holiness Raghunath Swami Maharaj. I prayed the lotus feet of uh, Maharaj that I one day take shelter uh, in the way he defined, that is, to give out service for the pleasure of Vaishnavas and Krishnas. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhuji. I request uh, Sankashinita Prabhu to give his offerings. And after that, uh, I would request Smita Kesha Prabhu and Smita Mataji who are there in the Zoom to be ready with, the, with their offerings. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, dear Guru Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances, Maharaj. Uh, at the very beginning, I would like to heartily thank you, Maharaj, for accepting this fallen soul and giving shelter at your lotus feet. I am immensely indebted for the glorious gifts that you have given, which otherwise were very rare to obtain. You have given the holy name of Krishna, which can drive away all ignorance and establish the connection with Krishna. Your absorption in the holy name is unimaginable. Sometimes you just keep doing the kirtans for hours together, giving us a glimpse into the spiritual world. Sometimes you chant the whole night and still be able to join the next day morning program. So whenever I hear these past times, I literally get uh, goosebumps and extremely elated. At the same time, I felt very sorry for myself, Maras, for not being able to live up to your basic expectations. So one time a disciple asked, what pleases you, Maras? So my reply was crystal clear. Your time is chant 60 rounds attentively, follow four regulatory principles sincerely, Avoid ten offenses diligently, serve the Vaishnavas unconditionally. So these are the four instructions that you have given. And you have mercifully given us a clue on how to successfully do above. Just follow the first one, chant attentively every day. You get all strength to follow all my other instructions. So that is the instruction that you have given. So I am really struggling with us to chant attentively. My mind is all over my face. So helpless in coming out, I humbly beg for your mercy so that I may develop some taste to hold you. Another wonderful gift you have given is a transcendental knowledge, the Divya Gyan. You have just a deep source of inspiration for me, Maras. The practical lessons that you derive from past times or real life scenarios is simply astounding. In one lecture, you are mentioning how Mayadevi attracts and keeps us bound, although there is enough suffering everywhere. One time, there was devotees in Italy, they had a whole day Nagar Kirtan. It was a very hot sunny day, so in the evening, when all gathered at this side, due to excess of heat, they all wanted to take a motion bath. It was so very soothing atmosphere at that time. So the devotees readily jumped into the ocean, and soon there were some jolly fish just underneath the surface of the ocean, biting the devotees' legs everywhere. So some could come out very easily, but some devotees, they reluctantly stayed for some of time because that was long anticipated for bath and just could not digest the fact that they should leave immediately. So what did they carry out? So you were deriving that lesson that uh, every material pleasure has a source of pain just below the surface. So intelligent are the ones who could see with X-ray vision and not indulge. So other time we were telling about casinos, how when a person wins a match in a casino, the owner actually feels very happy. So that is quite surprising for me, 
So you mentioned that if a person loses a match continuously, he can come out very easily. But if a person does for some time, say about uh, three times or something, even if he lose hundred times after that, he will never uh, leave that match because that success uh, uh, it will keep him bound to that again and again. So the lesson we are trying to derive is the material success sometimes can be a trap and intoxicate a person if one is not very careful. So I was reading the book written by Vivian Prabhu recently. So there Prabhu was mentioning a nice pastime about um, uh, how you are explaining the Buddhist solution never goes in vain. So we are telling the story of one of your god brothers, uh, Tamal Prabhu, how he came to Krishna consciousness. So you are telling that, so this Tamal Prabhu, he was, uh, uh, he was a hippie, so he was wandering uh, uh, the life aimlessly. So one day, but he was very fond of the watermelons. So one day he was going in the road and he found that there is a dustbin wherein uh, there was a watermelon at the top. So he wanted to grab the watermelon, but somehow the watermelon fell down and uh, in order to get the watermelon, he just put the hand and uh, comes out was Bhagavad Gita as it is. It was not the watermelon. <laughs> so he read the Bhagavad Gita and uh, he was so impressed and uh, he started chanting and became a devotee. So Maharaj was uh, uh, giving a lesson that Buddhist notion actually that will never go in red. Although it appears that somebody throws the book also, the book will reach out to the deserving candidate anyway. So it doesn't uh, go in vain. So another of all, uh, the greatest gift Maharaj uh, we have got is your personal example. How you are so much absorbed in bhakti, how you are taking care of devotees with so much love and care, how you are dealing with reversals and conflicts, how you are dealing with your god brothers, how you are dealing with other sampradaya devotees. So they are all simply a great source of joy for me to hear Maharaj. Thank you so much for everything. So on this auspicious occasion, I simply beg for your mercy so that I get the strength to follow your instructions carefully and serve Vaishnavas in spirit of humble servant of a servant of servant. So, Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhuji. I would request, so Keshavar Prabhu wanted to give his offerings. I would request Keshavar Prabhu to give his offerings. And after that, I would have to request uh, Smita Kesha Prabhu and Snehita Mataji were there in the Zoom to give their offerings. <laughs> Hare Krishna. <clears throat> I offer my most humble obeisances to the lotus feet of my spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada, all the Guru Parampara. Actually, I just want to narrate only one incident for the pleasure of the devotees. It's about uh, 10 or 15 years back. It was the first Shirangam Yatra. The Maharaj was there. And all the Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis, it was five, six days program in the temple hall. And along with the Sri Vaishnavas, and he was giving Ranganath Katha. I think you were there, I don't know. You were the first Yatra. He was giving a Ranganath Katha, and then he was glorifying the Vaishnavas, the Sri Rangam, head of Sri Rangam, Sri Vaishnavas, and it was a very wonderful occasion. And the uh, the time was, uh, was uh, I used to frequently visit Sri Rangam because Trichy is my native place and also I had some business over there. And uh, that uh, devotee, Sri Rangam temple manager, he is a Tamil speaking person. Now he is from Madurai, Gaura Prabhu. He is the one who donated the land to the ISKCON, Sri Rangam. And he asked me, can you invite Maharaj, because I can't speak uh, English, and uh, can you invite Maharaj to our temple? It was very small, it was just like a hut and uh, no, it was no proper building, only that land was there and it was just in the beginning. I just, uh, no, it was a five days continuous program at the end of the program, somehow I, because I used to have a lot of guts, <laughs> I never uh, hesitate, uh, maybe the people use that opportunity. So I went and uh, approached Maharaj and the uh, Brahmachari was there, uh, just wait, wait, wait like that. Uh, once or twice I went and uh, then the, there's always a Brahmachari surrounding. Then I put up my request like this, he wants to invite and... Uh, oh, then Mara somehow heard that, oh, he's gone, Shirangam. Yes, I want to come. Then at the end of the program, he came and we organized uh, one big garland. 
I bought a big garland. I gave it to Maharaj, and then uh, he offered to Prabhupada. There's a Prabhupada big murti is there. And he offered to Prabhupada, and then he went inside. And this is a long land. It is uh, width is less and length is long, long was um, not in same proportion. Then uh, he was giving some ideas how to build the temple and uh, who are the devotees. Well, a couple of devotees, and I was there. And then uh, he asked, uh, "Who's disciple?" You are. Then I asked, "I said, the Sir Jayapata Maharaj." Immediately started glorifying uh, our Guru Maharaj Jayapata Goswami. You know who is Lord uh, Jayapata Goswami? Your Guru Maharaj is Lord Chaitanya's associate. Although we are aware of it, but we want to get it from his mouth. And then he gave a big embracement, you no know, big hug. And both of us were just you know, shocked, and then uh, I thought I am not qualified. Then he kneeled down and to his lotus feet. Looks like that he was not leaving. Uh, we have to leave. I did not know that uh, when he used embrace, we have to leave, and he will not withdraw. And there was some brahmachari came and pulled us. Both. Of us. <laughs> I was not knowing this <laughs> etiquette. <laughs> he, he did not withdraw. And then the other, we had to withdraw. <laughs> and then uh, that is an incident uh, really in our mind, and how we are all so. We were not uh, elevated devotee. Just the beginning, uh, fifteen years back, uh, still uh, he did not see the space, space in uh, bhakti. He really came forward. Uh, that's the one we really touched us, and he never lost the opportunity to glorify his God brother. These two things we learned. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you, Maharaj, for your mercy. Please engage me in the Vaishnava service always. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. I'd request uh, Smita Kesha Prabhu and Snehita Mataji are there on Zoom. If they can give their options. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Today is Dalat Pranam. Prabhuji, could you hear me? Yeah. Yes, Prabhuji. Yeah. Thank you, Prabhuji. Namo Shripada Krishna Prashtha. Good blessing. Sadhana Samhita Namani. Namo Shripada Krishna Prashtha. Good blessing. 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 Hare Krishna. Dear Guru Maharaj. Dalat Pranam. So I'm very grateful and thankful for giving this opportunity to glorify uh, Guru Maharaj on this auspicious occasion of his vast puja ceremony. Uh, firstly, like we are missing the program today in temple for all of us who so are attending online. And also we miss the Yatras of Maharaj every year. And uh, all as all devotees glorified, I also want to uh, glorify on Maharaj's instructions through his lectures. So how, how Maharaj narrates Krishna Katha so nicely. And I collected some five points. I just given brief, like what Maharaj has given his lectures in Yatra and also in general. Like first point is about Maharaj sets the context and background of every past time so nicely, and uh, make evident to the point what we are discussing so nicely. And second, uh, uh, Maharaj also teaches nice lessons through the past times what we are discussing uh, by connecting to references in Bhagavad Gita and Shrimad Bhagavatam. So in the lecture prayed today also, Maharaj was quoting verse from Bhagavad Gita about Matras Pastas to Kaunteya. So and also Maharaj, third, I want to mention about uh, Maharaj gives an analogies and nice uh, uh, relations of his examples, what he has realized it. Like Maharaj undergoing his pastimes in many places, like Maharaj explaining the pastime of Bahrain. So other pastimes, Maharaj connects to the nature and understands it and make it very easy for us to understand uh, the philosophy so easily. Uh, and also, Quoting examples of Prabhupada and Inlane in Parampara, so so nicely makes us understand. And also, fourth, I want to tell about Maharaj also makes nice sounds in his lectures. So uh, yeah, especially lectures where it's very interesting. And uh, I was hearing that some of some of us we feel asleep, and when the sounds come, we feel uh, we come uh, awaken from the sleep. Also awaken from spiritually <laughs> hearing the sounds. So and uh, fourth, uh, sorry, fifth, and again Maharaj was also make us chant very loudly in a helpless cry so we like a child crying for a mother uh, maras make us chant in yatras so uh, uh, and make us dance before the lordships so that was uh, five things i want to explain the glories of like what maharaj uh, krishna katha how is happening and uh, to just give an example recently uh, we are discussing kiridas govardhan past time in our bhakti riksha so i was just going through what all things i should read about i just shared one of the transcription of uh, guru maharaj so uh, one of our Bhaktarusha uh, participants, he read that and she felt very happy that it was in, in and out, everything was there. Like it was explanation of origin of Giri Maharaj in spiritual, Giri Raj in spiritual world. 
origin of Girirajan's material world, and then the past time of all Govardhan Puja. So nicely it was explained. And uh, in that one point, even I was also very much attracted. Was one point where uh, uh, although Krishna came uh, perform the past time because of Brahma's request, and Krishna with the devotees like Radha Rani, uh, Lalita, Vishaka, Subala, Sudama, so many many devotees are there. But uh, uh, at the age of seven, Krishna when he was talking to Nanda Maharaj about this past time. thinking about indra so many millions of miles away in swargaloka so why krishna was thinking that 6 uh, years he passed he has seen this puja happening but 7th year he questioned nanda maharaj why this why this we have to do this puja so and why is thinking about indra at that point of time i was just thinking why <laughs> so then uh, maharaj explained very nicely maharaj explained that uh, indra indra uh, krishna is thinking that uh, uh, indra is been puffed up by his opulences and indra is krishna's devotee so krishna is always thinking about his devotees he doesn't want his devotee to, to fall down so then maharaj quotes the verse from 9th chapter that ame bhakta pranashyati so so he is thinking about his devotees always so like that so maharaj so nicely connects and uh, explains it so we can easily understand and uh, relish krishna katha on this uh, auspicious occasion like i want to uh, pray to all lotus feet of all the vaishnavas assembled and also guru maharaj are able to follow the instructions of maharaj given so nicely and servant please all the vaishnavas So thank you so much for Hare Krishna. The servant Mr. Keshav Das. My wife will share now offerings. Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Krishna Ibo Tade Sri Mati Ratna Swami Ti Namani. Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Krishna Ibo Tade Sri Mati Bhakti Devanta Swami Ti Namani. हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग मी दिस ऑपरचुनिटी हंबल ओपेशंस टू ऑल द डिवोटीज इवन द आई हैव नो क्वालिफिकेशन टू टॉक अबाउट महाराज एंड हिज क्वालिटीज फॉर माय ओन प्यूरिफिकेशन आई एम डूइंग दिस रिसेंटली व्हेन आई एम प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सिस्टास्टिकम क्लास वर्सेस i i recently i have by while reading trinada p suni chena i am i have uh, then i was analyzing about the verse then i have got one doubt that is uh, whether if we chant uh, holy name we get the humility uh, quality or if we have the quality of humility then we can chant the holy name constantly then uh, when i uh, i have gone through the facebook and coincidentally i got answer from maharaj that is uh, some somebody asked maharaj about uh, how how to be humble then maharaj answer was ultimately the only way to be humble is to chant holy name of the lord through this process true humility awakens within our hearts but in order to properly chant the name of the lord we must be willing to accept the position that i am servant i am not the master all others are prabhu and i am dasa i am the servant you take the position of the servant and chant the holy name in that in this spirit then real humility will awaken in your heart but if you do not take the position of the servant if you, you are criticizing others you are judging others if you are expecting others to do things for you then krishna will not be inclined to purify you even though his holy name it is very long rigorous process so by serving the great souls by hearing from them and by chanting the holy names humility awakens within our heart i have re- gone through this then uh, really touched my heart very deeply then uh, because of this uh, without unknowingly i have did uh, was suffering so many times then after uh, uh, reading this verse i have, um, while i am facing this situation then i am i am thinking that i should uh, um, do this then uh, uh, whenever i get this situation i am remembering this verse and i am struggling with this verses uh, with this quotes and i am able to follow it uh, on this auspicious occasion i fall onto the maharaj lotus feet so that i can uh, uh, take maharaj instructions and follow in my life thank you thank you for giving thank you mata ji um, i would request uh, champakla champakla da mata ji to give an offerings and after that i would request uh, gaur shakti prabhu to be ready with his offerings uh, with that we will come to the end of the verbal offerings and uh, after that we'll move to the next program is 
Pushpanjali and uh, Arati. Hare Krishna. Uh, and Ms. Pranam to all the devotees and uh, Gurudev and uh, very grateful for this opportunity uh, to express my feelings uh, for uh, Radhanath Swami Maharaj. Uh, of the many qualities that we have been uh, seeing, hearing and reading about you, Srila Gurudev, uh, one of uh, the ones which uh, strikes me very hard and which is very difficult for me to follow in my life is uh, your statement that one's greatness has to be estimated by his or her ability to tolerate provoking situations. And uh, throughout your life, you know, we read in the journey home and even when we see you uh, now at present, how the kind of life you live, uh, it's very, very evident that so many provoking situations have come in your life and number. And especially after reading the journey home, we realized that there was so much that you went through so much. And still, you know, you, you, your ability to tolerate those provoking situations has been immense. And uh, that is one thing which uh, uh, I sincerely beg and pray at your lotus feet, that even a small iota, just uh, a, a pinch of that great ocean of tolerance that you have, if uh, I can you know, imbibe by your causeless mercy and the mercy of the Vaishnavas, it would uh, really help me to uh, follow in your footsteps and uh, progress on the path of Krishna consciousness. And another quality which uh, struck me very hard when I read your book, The Journey Home, and which many devotees have also shared is that uh, every time you went uh, through any particular situation, uh, and most of them were unpleasant situations, you know, where you were really tested and, you know, you had to go through so much of austerity and troubles and tribulations. But uh, you always reflected that what was it that Krishna wanted to teach you through that particular incident that, that happened. And uh, ultimately, you always found something good through whatever had happened. And you took that as the learning lesson which Krishna wanted to teach you. And not only that, you went one step ahead, which is the greatness of a pure devotee like you among the many of Srila Prabhupada followers, is that you were also grateful for what Krishna uh, presented in front of you. And uh, so many incidences where, you know, it's very difficult, you know, to uh, be grateful for what is happening. But uh, you always did that. And you still went one more step ahead. And that was, you kept uh, taking vows from the whatever incidents had happened. You tried to learn the lesson and you kept taking vows, which would help you for the further progress on the path that you were seeking, where you were seeking the truth. So it's like, you know, uh, for example, you took a vow where you said that, no, you will not judge anyone. You will not uh, criticize anyone. Then you took a vow that, you know, uh, it's no, never to jump to conclusions very, you know, quick. And so many such, you know, incidences which happened. And every time something happened, you kept taking such vows. And that is the immense determination which you possess, which uh, empowers you to take those vows and not only take those vows, but also follow them throughout your life, irrespective of however difficult it may be. And uh, so I really uh, beg at your lotus feet that uh, through all this life that I am living, that I also try to, you know, understand what Krishna is trying to, you know, teach us, teach me. And uh, again, a very small drop, your greatness is unlimited like the sky, but a teeny tiny drop also, if you know, I can inculcate in my life and uh, try to, you know, follow in your footsteps. And last but not the least, uh, I am eternally grateful to Srila Prabhupada and to all the Vaishnavas by whose mercy uh, I you know, got the shelter at your lotus feet 
and humbly beg and pray at the lotus feet of all the devotees and at your divine lotus feet that uh, I can develop some of a very small quantity of the great qualities that you possess. And thus, please you and Srila Prabhupada in an insignificant manner. Thank you very much. Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Gurudev ki jai. Thank you, Mataji. Uh, I would request uh, God Shakti Prabhu to give his offerings. Hare Krishna. Although I'm not prepared and qualified uh, to give offering, um, mercy of uh, Sri Balaji Prabhu, I got the opportunity to glorify Guru Maharaj. Uh, actually, I to tell, uh, tell about the two, two qualities or the two things which inspire me a lot about the Maharaj. One is Maharaj Kirtans. Uh, once there was uh, Maharaj's, singing, Maharaj's program, was giving, Maharaj's giving a program in you know, one of the houses of the Guru house, house in Mumbai. Uh, once there was a Mataji, she was a dentist. She was a dentist. She was not a devotee. She was a materialistic uh, dentist. She was walking on the road in the Mumbai. One day, uh, there was one evening, uh, Maharaj was singing on the roof of the one of the Kurosa's house. And actually, she thought, who is singing? Who, where the voice is coming from of the singing? Then the, finally, that Mataji goes finding the source of the singing. And finally, she goes to the house of that Kurosa's where the singing was going on. Then finally, the Mataji goes there, attends the whole program, and also attends the Kirtans of the Maharaj. After that, as soon as she attends, next Sunday she was in the temple. So uh, ultimately, she became a devotee, and she's one of the uh, one of the senior devotees in Chopani Temple. I forgot her name. Uh, that is the power of the, the kirtans of the pure devotees. When you hear the kirtans of the pure devotees from the lotus mouths, it transforms our art. That was one thing. And the second thing is Maharaj Lachars. Actually, Maharaj Lachars inspired me a lot. Not just me. In fact, that uh, fact that I'm here, I'm speaking uh, glorification of Maharaj is that because of hearing lectures from him. Uh, so whenever the troubles came in my life, or reverses came of not just my life, many devotees' life, uh, they find shelter in the Maharaj lectures. How, that's how they're, they're, they're continuing their Krishna consciousness. Uh, not just me or any other devotees, great stalwart, stalwart devotees like Radha Shambhu and Gaurambu still they're in, they're in their lectures. They say, they say that they are maintaining their Krishna consciousness, they, they are maintaining their Krishna consciousness and the Brahmacharya Ashram because they are hearing from Radhana Swami Maharaj lectures. So the lectures are of the pure devotees very, very, uh, very, very inspiring and they give the shelter to us to continue our Krishna consciousness. If you're not hearing the lectures from the Maharaj, actually I feel much, many times that if you don't hear lectures from the Maharaj, uh, I feel weak, very weak in my Krishna consciousness, then I tend to uh, loosen my Krishna consciousness. But when I hear the Maharaj's Kirtans or uh, lectures, then actually find a source and shelter in his lectures, then I get a strength to continue my Krishna consciousness. And by, uh, this is my request. Actually, whenever you find any problems in your life, any problems, when you, when you think that you're losing your Krishna consciousness, just try to do these things. Hear the lectures of your Guru Maharaj or Prabhupada. Uh, just to hear the kirtans of the pure devotees. This will uh, give a strength to practice your Krishna consciousness even in the difficult times. Uh, with this, actually, uh, on this vocation of Isolanes uh, Radha Swami Maharaj Bharti Vaspuja, I Kindly pray to him to bless me to take shelter of his kirtans and lectures so that my I practice my Krishna consciousness and also bring more people into Krishna consciousness. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you so much. Um, if I may, I just quickly do my humble offerings is to Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. Guru Maharaj, once at the airport, when you were waiting for your flight, a lady came over to you and, and looking at your sannyasi danda, inquired whether it was a fishing rod. Uh, you responded saying, yes, with this rod, I fish devotees. So uh, similar to how a fisherman, when a fish is hooked, uh, an expert fisherman would skillfully rotate the reel and bring the fish uh, towards him, try to pull him, uh, pull him, uh, pull the fish towards him. Similarly, Maharaj, you have always kept rotating the reel to pull me towards your grace. First time it was in Mumbai, uh, Radha Gopina temple when I just, I mean, I did not even know what the process is. Uh, and me and my wife, we had gone over there when we, when you gave your darshan and sowed the seed, Guru Maharaj. Second time it was in Bangalore during the book launch when you were here. Uh, that is when I felt you got us more closer to you. Third time it was in Vada where you accommodated us accommodated us along with other group of devotees and that really made a lasting impression on me about how compassionate you are and how accommodative you are even though you know such a fool and a rascal that i am fourth time was when you mercifully 
accepted me as your disciple and connected me to this glorious parampara dear guru maharaj on this auspicious occasion i pray at your lotus feet lotus feet to keep me sheltered in the association of devotees thank you guru maharaj Uh, with that we come to the end of the verbal offerings and the next program will be cake cutting pushpanjali and aarti but before that i want to quickly uh, acknowledge and thank all those devotees because a lot of lot of back end work that is happening when we even though if it's a low low scale pro, i mean program or if, if it's a high scale program so uh, i would like to call out the names and please forgive me if i have, if i don't call those names who are actually involved um, altar decoration was done by karunamurthy prabhu and in the group of devotees the projector and sound system which worked wonderfully without any hiccup today was by vanamali govind prabhu and prasanna prabhu prasanna prabhu you all know is always there with this whole uh, the system that he has uh, the communication to the groups was uh, done by sundarup sham prabhu he did he communicated to the whatsapp group and and did a follow up also uh guru maharaj video lecture selection was done by venkatama prabhu and haride krishna prabhu uh the flowers the garland and the loose flowers uh, was coordinated by neminath prabhu and uh, we'd also like to thank tribanga prabhu and radha mata ji to ensuring that the garland and the flowers are there uh bhoga the bhoga which is offered now uh, was coordinated by anandini radha mata ji and assisted by the other mata ji uh prashadam the menu that we discussed was kindly uh, you know uh, agreed upon by his grace mathura sham prabhu and uh, nevertheless and all this can be done and planned but the execution by sankarshnitai prabhu uh, neminath prabhu and the whole team who were there they had actually started the uh, you know the decoration yesterday itself and they ensured that before 8:30 by 8 o'clock everything was done and ready and uh, last but not the least it's always under the guidance of suvarna gaur hari prabhu and swayam prakash prabhu so let us all chant one hari krishna mahamantra for this wonderful devotees and for the glorious services hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare uh, we'll have the cake cutting now i have requested uh, uh, is this narari chaitanya prabhu and i would also request uh, gopal chandra prabhu brajakishor prabhu to please come forward <laughs> madhav chandra prabhu please come forward
Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna to you. Hare Krishna to you. Hare Krishna, dear Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna to you. Hare Krishna to you. Hare Krishna to you. Hare Krishna, dear Guru Maharaj. Go, 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 go. Krishna to Rango. Arivo. <laughs> we'll have the uh, Ushmanjali prayers. Hare Krishna. We would like to also thank uh, Sri Balaji Prabhu and uh, Radha Bhavani Mataji for tirelessly working, coordinating this uh, wonderful festival. Without their uh, concentrated efforts, such a beautiful festival was not possible. Thank you, Sri Balaji Prabhu and Mataji. Yo. So, uh, a quick announcement. The way we will do this is the flowers will be distributed for to all of us. And uh, instead of, uh, you know, uh, offering the flowers from where you are, I would request the devotees to shift the flowers to the other hand. And at the end, we all can come and offer the flowers and then offer our obeisances. I would request uh, Chakrapani Prabhu to give the prayers. Hare Krishna. So we'll start. Om Ajnana Timirandhasya. Jnana Anjana Shalakaya. Chakshurun Nilitam Yena. Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sthapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupaha Kadamahyam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guroho Shri Yuta Padakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakhan Vitamsha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Preshtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Radha Natha Swamin Itinamine Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Preshtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Itinamine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Nama Om Vishnupadaya 
कृष्ण प्रेष्टाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती नामिने श्रीवार्षभानवी देवी दयिताय कृपाधे कृष्ण संबंध विज्ञान गायिने प्रभवे नमः माधुर्योज्वल प्रेमाढ़ श्रीरूपाग भक्ति श्री गौर करुणा शक्ति विग्रहाय नमोस्तु ते नमस्ते गौरवाणी श्रीमूर्त दीनतारिणे रूपाग विरुद्ध अपसिद्धांतध्वाणे नमो गौर किशोराय साक्षाद्वैराग्यमूर्त विप्रलंभर सांबोधे पदाबुजाते नम नमो भक्ति विनोदाय सच्चिदनंदना गौरशक्ति गौरशक्तिवरायुगवराय ते गौराविर्भाव भूमेस्व निर्देष्टा सज्जन प्रिय वैष्णव सार्वभौमश्री जगन्नाथा ते नम वाछाकलभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमो महावदान्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाने गौर नम पंचतत्वात्मक कृष्ण भक्तस्वक भक्तावतारम भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्तशक्ति हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीनबंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमोस्तु ते जयता श्रोत पंगोर मम मंद मतेर्गति मत्सर्वस्व पदाम भोज राधा मदन मोहन दिव्य वृंदारण्य कलपद्रुमाद श्रीमद्रत्नागार सिंहासनस्थ श्रीमद्राधा श्रील गोविंद देव प्रेष्टा सेव्यम स्मरा श्रीमासारंभी वंशी वट तट स्थित कर्षण वेणुस्वनैर्गोपी गोपीनाथ श्रेयस्तु नप्तकांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरिप्रि जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्रीअद्वैताकदाधरा श्रीवासादी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे हरे चल टू थ्री टाइम्स पुष्पांजलि नम ओम विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण प्रेष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते राधानाथ स्वामी नामिने येश पुष्पांजलि
ನಮ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಷ್ಠಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ರಾಧಾನಾಥ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಿತಿ ನಾಮಿನೆ ಏಷ ಪುಷ್ಪಾಂಜಲಿ ನಮ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಷ್ಠಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ರಾಧಾನಾಥ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಿತಿ ನಾಮಿನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವಿ ಏಷ ಪುಷ್ಪಾಂಜಲಿ ಹೆಸರನೇ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧನಾ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಕಿ Hare Krishna, while we are offering the flowers, I will make some quick announcements. Today we have, uh, uh, and before we start the Aarati, uh, today we have uh, Prashadhan sponsor as um, uncle of Ravi Lochan Gaurang Prabhu. His name is uh, Shiva N. Raman from St. Louis, USA. Uh, it's on the occasion of remembering his, remembering his mother, Srimati Bhagirati Narayanan, on her anniversary. we achieved 6319 books hey bo and the target is 8000 for this year and the period ends by 15th january so i'll just read out the name of those wonderful devotees who have been leading in book distribution quickly i'll read out the names vanamali govind prabhu 2126 2126 total gaurachandra gopinath prabhu 1489 and that also has shrimad bhagavatam seven sets and one chaitanya charitamrita sundarup sham prabhu total 823 books rivo ashok gaur prabhu 693 books there are few more names few more names ashray jagannath prabhu 305 books madhura sham prabhu 224 books vishwambar prabhu 125 books sachidanand prabhu 124 books venkatramana prabhu 101 books pramonita prabhu 89 books Shri Balaji Das, 80 books. Jagan Mohan Prabhu, 48 books. Nimai Naran Prabhu, 46 books. Shri Hari Prabhu, 21 books. And Nanda Kumar Prabhu also, 25 books. And Ravi Loshan Gauran Prabhu, one Bhagavatam set. Let us all chant once loudly Hare Krishna Mahamata for the wonderful devotees. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Rama Hare Hare. one amali gun proposes together with the iyf devotees they have done this hare krishna for all those devotees at least once hare krishna mahamantra all those wonderful devotees hare krishna hare rama hare rama hare rama hare krishna so now we'll have aarti and then after that it will be prasadam
संसार दावा नलली ढालो का त्रनय कारुण्य घन घन संसार दावा नलली ढलो का प्रणय कारुण्य घन घन तम संसार दावा प्राप्त से कल्याण गुणर्नावश्य वंदे गुरु श्री चरणारविंद प्राप्त से महाप्रभु कीर तन नृत्य गीता वादित्र मन मनसुर सेना रोमांच कंपा श्रुतरंग भाज वंदे गुरु श्री चरणारविंद रोमांच वंदे गुरु श्री विग्रह आराधन नित्य नाना श्रृंगार दान मन दिर मर्जना दौ श्री विग्रह श्री विग्रह आराधन नित्य नाना श्रृंगार तन मन दिर मर्जना दौ श्री विग्रह युक्त से भक्तांजतोपी वंदे गुरु श्री चरणारविंद युक्त से भक्ता वंदे गुरु श्री चातुर्विधा श्री भगवत प्रसाद स्वादना तृप्ता हरि भक्त संधान चतुर्विधा
कृत्वतृप्ति भजत सदैव वंदे गुरु श्री चरणरविंद श्री राधिका माधव युर पार माधुर्य लीला गुण रूप नाम नाम श्री राधिका प्रतीक्षण स्वादन लोपा वंदे गुरु श्री चरणरविंद निकुंज न रतिकली सिद्ध्य यायाली भीरियो तिरपेक्षणीयाकुंज त्रति दाक्षति वल्लभ से वंदे गुरु श्री चरणरविंद साक्षाधरी न समस्त शास्त्र उपस्था भाव्यत एव षी किंतु प्रभु प्रिय वंदे गुरु श्री चरणरविंद यसाद भगवत प्रसाद यसाद नगति कोपी यसाद यसाद भगवत प्रसाद यसाद नगति कोपी यसाद यसाद यशस्त्रिसंध्यान वंदे यशस्त्री संध्यांदे गुरुशी चरणस्तवांस्त यशस्त्री संध्यां वंदे गुरुशी वंदे गुरु श्री चरणरविंद वंदे गुरु श्री चरणरविंद वंदे गुरु 
जय गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव जय जय प्रभु पाद जय प्रभु पाद जय प्रभु पाद जय प्रभु पाद जय नमा विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमाते भक्ति वेदांता स्वामी नितिना मीने नमा 